trending you're trending i'm trending we're all we're all trending welcome on in everyone uh happy simply stream saturday how's it going this music is making me want to like walk down a runway just kidding that's the last thing i want to do right now <laughs> welcome everyone um, if I do sound a little bit sick, I kind of still am. So, yeah. Uh, just acknowledging that fact. But, uh... Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good 2024. I hope you are having a good start to 2024. If, but yes, it has been a month. You know, we started a month ago. Is that real? Is it fake? It sounds fake. It sounds like that's that's not possible there's no way it's been a month <laughs> of this year so far i admittedly rescheduled this stream that i've been wanting to do since the beginning of january for like a few weeks now <laughs> but i've been wanting to do it for a long time and nothing will stop me not even my lingering covid lingering sickness or uh trending eye rashes which I hear are also in because it's like a blush, blush for your eyes. Have you heard of this? It's a new trend. I'm going to start it. Okay. Just watch. <laughs> Eye blush. Listen, Simply and Illogical <laughs> did it naturally. <laughs> but yeah, welcome on in. If you're sick, if you're healthy, good for you. You know, whatever it is, come join me. It's Saturday. We're going to hang out, do some uh, nail trends that I have been looking forward to complaining about. <laughs> we did this last year and it was a lot of fun and people really liked it. So I'm doing it again, but I'm doing it in a little more sociological method way. You know, I put my uh, statistical and sociological method skills to use this year. So, Cause I'm a fucking loser. <laughs> All right, welcome on in to the Menchie Gang, to the mods. A couple updates first before we really get into it. Um, oh, I should change this runway music. It's talking to me. Weird. 
Stop talking to me. One second. There we go. Uh, Menchie gang, your bonus stream is tomorrow. I scheduled it on the membership tab. Um, that's once a month we do a bonus Menchie gang stream where I get to hang out with them for a couple more hours and just, you know, actually read their comments. And uh, that'll be tomorrow at 2 p.m. It's already populated on the member stream. You guys let me know what what you want to do. You know, I might still be sick, so uh, we could we could just drink tea. I could make you tea. I could make you some tea. You want some tea? We could make tea together. <laughs> but yeah, that'll be tomorrow. And what else did I want to do? Oh, I wanted to show you something that someone in the Discord made because it's so incredible. Look at this. Like, okay, just sorry. <laughs> but like, this is, someone posted this in the Discord, Kelsey Parkey. And they captioned it, my fan art of Christine. It is so good. Like, oh my God. <laughs> what? Shower. Wait, wait, look. Hold on. Uh, well, let me shower. open this one. Oh, it won't let me open the TikTok one. Okay, hold on. Look at this. Because when you shower, you get deaf nails. Deaf nails. Woo! Every shower we end up. It's the duck nail song. Oh my god. This is their TikTok they attached. Isn't that so good? Like, what the heck? Look. Look, it's hollow. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> wow. Kelsey Parkey. Incredible. I just had to give a shout out. I kind of want to post it on my Instagram. There's so many more of these, I feel bad. You know, I'm not ignoring the other fan art. I did look at this. This one is from, oh, why isn't it telling me M? Your name is just M. Oh, <laughs> your name is only M. Menchi, the science queen. So good. Look at this one. From uh, Sal Nico. First time doing pixel art, Drew, Simply, and Ben. <laughs> okay, we look like uh, characters in the trolley problem. That's me and Ben thinking about to pull the lever. This one's by Gumball. My 11-year-old daughter made this on the iPad. What? She's 11? Damn. You know what? Give kids iPads. <laughs> if this is what they're doing, please give the children iPads. All of them. It should be automatic. You know, you get born, you get an iPad. And then you do this. Uh, this is from Celia. <laughs> Bricky is ready for Christmas. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing art. And, uh, you know, if, as we scroll back, there, there's some, some more chaotic pieces in here. This one is from Jason. And uh, I believe I showed this one previously, but it's just too good not to show again. That's from Margin Drawings, some animations they made while watching stream. Like, holy shit. <laughs> Ouija, water marble, jawbreaker, cyclone, rainbow. Anyways, all this to say, you are very, very talented. What the heck? <laughs> All right, get your tea. Now we can do nail trends. Um, I am drinking English breakfast with oat milk. <clears throat> Welcome to the bench again, Christina. All right. Nail trends. Does anyone follow them? Does anyone here follow trends? Do you even, would you even admit if you followed a trend? Because I feel like there's, you know, some social desirability. But don't worry, we will get to that because I surveyed you. So at the end of this stream, I'm going to share your survey results about whether or not you self-reportedly follow trends. I would like to analyze trends. No, nail trends. 
Today, we're going to analyze nail trends for 2024, as reported by the media, <laughs> by the social media, <laughs> coming to you live from also social media. I decided to analyze nail trends, and I'm going to see if I like them. We're going to see if we agree with the trends. We're going to see if they make sense. Is it actually what we're seeing? Is it what I think we're going to see? Is it what you want to see? And uh, will we follow them? You know, time will tell this year. So let's get into it. I mean, I made you a presentation. Ready? <laughs> nail trends, nail trends, 2024, allegedly. Okay, this is according to sources. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my. Where's my notes? Okay. So of course I took this in the most sociological, methodological way I could. And uh, you know, this very rigorous research study. Uh, I looked at articles that popped up when I Googled nail trends 2024. And then I did a meta analysis of a total of 11 different articles that had curated reported nail trends for 2024. What is a meta analysis? It is basically when you take a bunch of studies that have already been done and then you look at the result of combining all those studies. So yes, I am calling articles on the internet studies. <laughs> I'm treating them as if they are research studies. And then I put them all together and I'm gonna do a synthesis. I have matrices ready to share with you in my conclusion in order to determine, do the trends even agree with each other? Are they on the same page? Or are they all like all over the place, you know? Is it even, is there a trend in the trend related research? <laughs> are they just talking shit? Or, you know, am I just try find, trying to find, I can't speak today. Am I just trying to find any reason to do research? <laughs> oh no, Andrea. It's probably because you didn't pay your parking tickets. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wishing you the best. Yeah. So get ready. We're going to dissect some trends today. Nail trends. These are my sources. Hope I didn't miss anything. But you know, there's an unlimited amount of sources on the internet. There's also TikTok, which I did not do this year. This is just the uh, magazines. <laughs> but you know articles that are based on curating trends from social media so although these are uh, internet digital magazine sources a lot of them use instagram tiktok as their source so that's like kind of our secondary source yeah this is very important scientific research this is the bibliography i know there's only 11 citations it's like the shortest bibliography i've ever done <laughs> So we're just gonna, this is what we're gonna do, okay? I've already done the analysis and I have conclusions, but I wanna go through the articles with you and read it and react to what they're saying at source and then go through my conclusions. All right, so we're going in order. My new hoodie arrived. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Okay. <laughs> okay. 10 best 2024 nail trends to try, according to experts, including aura nails, rhinestones, and subtle shimmer. All right. A significant departure from years past. Is it? Let's see. Because <laughs> we did this last year. Let's see. The overarching theme amongst 2024's biggest beauty and fashion trends is wearability. So what, last year you couldn't wear it? For 2024, we'll be leaning into ease and simplicity, and this applies to this year's biggest nail trends too. Think sleek finishes, minimalist nail art, shorter lengths, <laughs> to me, and sophisticated updates to classic styles like the French manicure. Okay, if you did your homework and you were here last year, this sounds exactly like what they said last year. Last year, they were like, minimalism, sheer wash, glazed donut is all you need. This, this sounds the same. What's the difference? What year are you referring to? What is your reference category? <laughs> 
All right. Now, 2020, okay, number one, 2024 nail trend floating French tip. Floating. So it's not at the tip. It's a line. That's not a French tip. C'est pas français, là. <laughs> okay. A floating French tip. All right. This looks very like celebrity runway-ish, you know. And there's, there's different types of ways of interpreting trends, right? There's trends for runway, then there's trends for like normal people <laughs> who don't, who would never wear something on like the runway. But uh, I think there's a little bit of, of both in these articles. This to me sounds more like a runway claim. <clears throat> Celeb nail artist Julie created this minimal nail art for the Stout Spring Summer Show at New, like I, I don't know what language this is. Stout, is that a brand? <laughs> Guys, help. <laughs> um, consider it the simple, chic update to your classic French tip. Start with a neutral base color, then draw a line a third of a way down with a thin paintbrush in whatever shade you choose. So it's like kind of a geometric mani, you know? That's how I see this. Like it, it's a neutral base and then just a line. To me, gives off like a bit of a geometric, like a little accent. It's just moving the, the tip, really. Does that not make your nails look shorter? Like, it's kind of an illusion. Makes your nails look shorter than they are, right? Okay, interesting. Ultra, ultra glossy nails for 2024. That's clearly magnetic. Do they, okay, let's see if they even know what they're saying. According to Candelec, Layering different textures to create a majorly shiny nail look will be huge in 2024. Shiny? You mean like just top coat? What? I love this because layering is so fun and a lesson in color theory. Layering? Like, like a hollow taco combo? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Sometimes you can be really surprised by the color combos you've created. Yeah, right? I know, it's amazing. She adds combining jelly nails with a magnetic velvet nail polish, which you can see above, or mixing cat eye polish, which is magnetic polish. Oh no, they think they're two different things. Oh no. <laughs> with chrome powder, <laughs> okay. Okay, wait, th this category is called ultra glossy, but then they're like clearly talking about magnetic as like an interesting texture, which I agree. I just, I just, okay. Do you mean the magnetic effect where you see that like kind of shifting like crystal dome or do you just mean shiny? Which one is the trend? <laughs> Cause they're not the same. Did AI write this? No, I think this is a real person written, right? Okay, I, I admit I am slightly confused about specifically what you mean. So this research point is a bit inconclusive to me. I don't know where to map this in my meta-analysis, to be quite honest. Because I, I don't know which one it is you're referring to. There's confounding variables in this particular point. All right. Nail trend, short square nails. Candelec says many of her celeb clients are starting to ask for short squared off nails, which fits the natural quote, clean aesthetic everyone has been leaning into lately. Yeah, people wanna be clean and not, not dirty? Why? Why? <laughs> After years of acrylics and gel X extensions, our nails are all pretty beat. Excuse me, speak for yourself. <laughs> what? 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 Who's had years of acrylics and gel X extensions? Actually, I, let's pull the chat so I'm just not to... Uh, have you had years <laughs> of acrylics and gel X extensions? We're, we're gonna actually get the data point rather than just making the assumption. This is, this is live research. Thank you for participating. Everyone gets a course credit. Go on. 
Yeah, what this is saying is that Ben's nails are in, actually. <laughs> the 2024 nail trend report. Uh, Ben's nails are in. Should we find some Ben's nails? I'll find you some Ben's nails. There you go. This is what's in this year. <laughs> Let's go, Ben. I'm swatching his nails right now for the next collection. <laughs> okay. We keep reading. But opting for short lengths and light shades make it easier to start giving your nails some much needed TLC. That's true. I think, you know, not qualified nail tech, but you know, hobbyist for 10 years or whatever. That yeah, if you're gonna stop acrylics and extensions, it's probably easier to manage keeping your nails short as they kind of come back to life. <laughs> okay, let's look at the results. Has chat had years of acrylics and gel X extensions? 90% no? <laughs> okay, so like only one in 10 of you can relate to this uh, this statement here. All right, got it. Let's keep going. Top your manicure with a strengthening top coat. Hmm. Or layer on a bond building nail treatment to help repair your nails. And of course, a dose of daily cuticle oil, okay, that I agree with, is a must for healthy looking nails, especially when you're opting for a shorter length. Uh, any length, any length, all length, cuticle oil every day, always. Okay, but I just wanna talk about this particular trend. This trend is about your nail shape, not the design or the aesthetic or the color. So that's interesting, because I feel like that's not as common to see in trend reports where they talk about a particular shape. I personally think nail shape is so personal to you and it really matters, not just like what you like the look of, but also what suits your hands and the way your nails curve and more importantly, your lifestyle. If you can't have long nails because uh, you're a doctor and you're operating on people, please do not have long nails. You know what I mean? Like there's a way to find a nail shape that works best for your lifestyle that's easiest to maintain. And um, square nails are actually hard to maintain even if they're short. If they're very square and they have like a corner edge, there's, some people who have more curved nails or just like the natural shape of like the, the matrix of your nail bed, you're not gonna be able to keep those corners from chipping that easily just because of the, the way your nail bed is shaped. So while some people could maybe maintain that without constantly breaking the corners, it's not easy for everyone. So you might opt for like a bit more of a rounded edge. They call that a squoval, like a rounded, a square oval, I guess. That's kind of what I have. I have a little bit of a squoval, but I can't personally do like really harsh square edges because they they are more prone to breaking. And that's just me and my curved nail shape, you know? But uh, I, I guess I'm, I'm never gonna have short, really square nails. <laughs> I'm just forever squoval over here, you know? Am I out of style? Oh my God. <laughs> I heard on TikTok that almond nails are chuggy now. Yeah. That language was used, unironically. Which I don't understand, because there's so many like really aesthetic-y Instagram nail artists who have very almond-shaped almond nails, and like they're not chuggy. Like, please do not call them that, okay? <laughs> Their nails look amazing. <laughs> what is chuggy? Oh my God. It's um a term developed, Ugh, do we need to research this? What is chuggy? You'll you know it when you see it. Thanks, New York Times. <laughs> it can be used broadly to describe someone who is out of date or trying too hard. Okay, TikTok Gen Z has called almond nails chuggy. <laughs> Saw that yesterday. I disagree. All right. You keep your nail shape and length, whatever makes sense for you. How about that? That's your trend, okay? Millennials are chuggy to Gen Z. Well, I guess, yeah, they consider us out of date, you know? Whatever, I identify as Gen Z 
it's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, let's keep going. Four. Chocolate milk nails for 2024. Oh. Okay. What is what does that mean? Chocolate milk? Mmm. Tasty. Chocolate Manny. I'm seeing a big transition to minimis, minimalist looks, says nail artist Hannah. Hannah rocks it. <laughs> I think a clean, natural nail look will be popular in 2024. We'll be seeing variations of neutral shades like sandy beiges, light pinks, and deep browns, which of course, TikTokers have deemed as chocolate milk nails. Okay, TikTok, why? It started with blueberry milk, which is just light blue. It's light blue. And then they realized like the color brown exists. They discovered it and then they put that on their nails and they're like, oh my God, it's chocolate milk. <laughs> to get the creamy look, make sure to opt for a shade without shimmer. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Okay. They said no shimmer. Oh, oh, like only cremes. 2024 so far, I'm not seeing anything but cremes. It's beige talk. It's beige talk, right? That's taking over. Mm -hmm. Now I'm triggered. <laughs> okay. We're, we are gonna see chocolate milk come back in a few other articles and uh, we're going to see the recurring trends as we go through the articles. Um, but yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Trend for 2024. All aura. I, aura? Aura nails. <laughs> aura. <laughs> aura. <laughs> I can't read today. Good lord. Okay. These, you mean a gradient? It's a radial gradient. That is a radial gradient. Y2K fans rejoice. What? Hello? Aura nails... What? That was a Y2K thing? Aura nails are still still set to be one of the biggest trends of 2024. We saw it gain popularity on TikTok last year, but it's only going to grow, incorporating new shades and color combos, 3D effects, and rhinestones to up the ante. If you want to try the look at home, it's shockingly easy. I don't know if most people would agree this is shockingly easy. <laughs> kind of tricky just paint your nail your go-to base shade then dab dab <laughs> no then dab your aura shade onto the center of your nail with a wedge makeup sponge but if you make it into a salon ask if they have an airbrush gun which can give you a more subtle gradient yeah this is a, a radial gradient in my vocabulary which is just a circular gradient but i guess they they use fancier runway sounding language like aura nails a good gradient takes time, it does. And I know this from having <laughs> given tutorials of gradients for years, that people struggle with doing gradients. It's not that easy. It takes a lot of practice, I think, to get the right level of pressure. Because sometimes you either just like dab too hard or you dab it on too thick or you're you're not patient enough, you're putting too much nail polish when really the trick is you have to build up on um, doing uh, minimal layers, sometimes even three to four, just to get the right blend and have patience. So it's not that easy, <laughs> but like, okay. <laughs> that color combo is not it. It's like my eyes. This is my eye rash look, guys. I'm telling you, it's in. <laughs> Blush, blush in the middle. It looks like kind of a pimple, actually. A little, like a hot pink pimple. <laughs> like very dolly blush, like unrealistic blush expectations, you know? Obviously very talented and well done. The gradient execution is amazing. But uh, I question the this particular color combo personally because it kind of looks like it blends into your skin and there's this like weird dot or like your nails are just a pink tiny dot you know it's like an optical illusion in a weird way <laughs> all right simple rhinestone nail trend for 2024 
they're so small. I'm like, where are they? Less is more in 2024, including your rhinestone nail art, as seen at Sandy Liang's Spring Summer 2024 runway show. Instead of all over crystals, a few precisely placed gems hold a lot more impact this year, says Lee. Hannah. <laughs> oh no. Was that Hannah? Are they referring to Hannah still? I guess so. Um, this gives a super fresh and chic vibe, which I think 2024 will be all about, she adds. And it's majorly easy. Just apply some top coat and attach the rhinestones before it dries to secure them into place. The key, though, is to use itsy bitsy rhinestones that won't overtake your whole nail. Okay, so this was there last year. Exactly. This was here last year. <laughs> Tiny rhinestones, I swear to God. <laughs> On like simple nails or like milky jelly nails, which this looks like to me. I mean, I I'm not opposed to this. This is fine. I think average people who aren't getting like gel manicures or whatever, if you're doing this at home with regular nail polish, it's probably not the most practical. That's why it's something like I never really got into doing. I've, I've done it occasionally where I put like Swarovski crystals on, whatever, but I did it for a look, for a photo. I'm not gonna wear little rhinestones on my nails personally, because when you're working with regular nail polish and not hardcore glues, which I, I don't work with, or like resins, I'm, I personally don't use that stuff on my nails, then it, they kind of, they just like pop off and then you just have a weird spot left, you know? So it's not really for me, but it, as a photo, like just on its own, yeah, it look, looks, looks fine, it's cute. I'd probably like do my entire nail because I have that extra gene, but you know. <laughs> All right. 2024 nail trend, bow accents, bows little baby bows. The ballet core trend has officially made its way to our nails. We're talking 3D bows, bow stickers, painted bows. Basically bows are all about to be everywhere. The trend fully embraces girlhood and femininity in all its forms. So it's often paired with white and light pink nail colors, shimmery finishes, and delicate pearls and rhinestones. We have to remind people <laughs> that if, if you're a girly, you gotta remind them, you gotta put those bows on. <laughs> it reminds me of like gender reveal aesthetic. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Put those bows on your nails and in your hair. Come on, girls, be a ballerina. <laughs> I mean, personally, I'm, I'm not a bow girly, you know? I'm more like a, give me a lightning bolt. Give me a skull. <laughs> Or just like a rainbow. <laughs> but uh, I, I do not hate it for others. If you like to twirl in ballet class, if you're feeling that aesthetic, you know, that's fine. Paint a little bow. Um, you do realize you don't need to tie up your nails though, right? Like your nails don't need laces, like shoes. Okay, just wanted to clear that up. <laughs> You know? <laughs> I swear this was on last year's list too. Like maybe they didn't use the word bows, but ballet core was used as a trend. Yeah. Can we just do shoelace nails? Can I paint sneakers on my nails? You mean bats? Yeah, I'd also bats. I'd rather put bats on my nails. <laughs> what is coquette? It's like, I don't know. Let's let's Google it. What is coquette? A woman who tries without sincere affection to gain the attention and admiration of men. Oh. <laughs> That's not what I thought the definition was. <laughs> Wait, why do we want to be this? What? TikTok, why? <laughs> why do we like this aesthetic? <laughs> okay, well, you know, you do you. Uh, eight. <laughs> 
Sheer nail colors for 2024 and 2023. I swear to God. <laughs> okay, this is runway pictures. There is nothing on your nails. <laughs> there, There is a base coat on your nails. <laughs> you are wearing a base coat. Maybe a top coat. I like how they're showing their nails, but like there's nothing on them. Like that's the look, you know? It's like, look, there's nothing. No makeup, makeup. In a sea of opaque chrome manicures and neon shades, that's what I would like. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> a sheer rosy pink has a fashionable edge, hence why it was the go-to shade at Michael Kors Spring Summer 2024 show by nail, by nail artist Jin Soon Chua. It mixes ballet core and quiet luxury. Quiet luxury? What does that mean? What is quiet? What are these terms? What does it mean? Like, you're rich, be quiet. <laughs> what does that mean? Like, not wearing Gucci all over? That's like loud luxury. Quiet luxury is like, I'm wearing Gucci, but you can't tell because it's not the shirt with the big logo. <laughs> it means you don't flaunt your wealth. Okay. Got it. Google Sophia Richie? Does she not is she not always like in nice houses and a castle wedding and stuff? <laughs> Isn't that like what do you mean? <laughs> okay. Emulating the classic ballet slippers or bubble bath nails, Manny. It's a pared down look that's obviously timeless, but also feels so current. A la Sophia Richie Grange 2023 wedding. Which like wasn't that in a like a giant castle? <laughs> right. Quiet luxury in a castle, everybody. Only other rich people can tell what you're wearing. You're so rich. So if you wear sheer nails, only rich people know that it was expensive. Got it. Yeah. Why don't, like, what I don't understand is why do you need to do all this, like, quiet luxury, you're rich like Sophia Richie. Just, just say sheer nails are minimalist and you like that look because it's, it's like you're, you're not, if the trend is not to be loud, <laughs> you just want sheer nails, just say that. Tying it to, like, a sense of wealth is, is so strange to me, you know? What, why is that, why is that rich? Rich people are so complicated. <laughs> just say what you like. And it's not because it's expensive. What? They got a Dior top coat for $500. <laughs> yeah. But it has to cost, it, right. This will not work unless it costs like $100, you know? It's not gonna work unless it was shut out. <laughs> I saw a TikTok and it was a girl screaming about like bubble bath nails. And she's like, why you bitches pay so much money for something to look like nothing? <laughs> and I was like, I agree. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel. You know, if I'm gonna spend money on nail polish, which I have spent a lot of money on nail polish, I would like people to notice it personally. And I, with my eyeballs, would like to notice it. <laughs> All right. 2024 nail trend, oyster nails. You mean iridescent? Oh my God, is this something in our language? That's iridescent. Pinky iridescent. Dewy isn't just for your skin and hair anymore. Nope, we're talking glow to our nails. Thanks to the nail looks of Sandy, Annie, and Alice and Olivia. Think shimmery, duochrome. Well, that's that's a different that's a different thing. Which one do you mean? <laughs> what? 
Sheer shades. Well, 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 wait, wait, wait. Now they're sheer? Okay. Shimmery and sheer can exist. Duochrome and sheer does not exist. Shades and ultra glossy finishes that mimic an oyster or a mother of pearl. It's basically an update to the 2022 glaze don't, okay, finally, they, they admit it. They just can't find new trends. <laughs> Finally, they admit where they're just copy pasting. Okay, it's basically an update to the 2022 glazed donut nail craze, just with a lot more sparkle. Okay, I can get on board with that. Just layer your milky white or light pink nail color with a sheer shimmery top coat. Okay, they said add a, a shimmer. They said add a winter shimmer. <laughs> that kind of looks like Polar Princess. You know, I'm not mad at that. Um, do we have a picture of that? I wonder, I think there's a picture under halogen glow. If you put this on naked nails, like this. I, okay, personally, I don't do the minimalist looks, but I appreciate adding a shimmer to a naked nail, especially if you don't have stained nails like me. I, like I can get on board with that because it's like simple, but at least it gives you something to inter it gives you something interesting to look at because then depending on the light or the angle or flash, it's like kind of cool. You know, it's more than nothing because your natural nail will not ever be shimmery or iridescent. Like that's not how our bodies work, you know, but if you put a coat of something on it to give it that, it gives it something a little bit special, but still kind of blends in if you're looking for that neutral palette, as opposed to the just very basic sheer nails that literally are just looking like your natural nail. So I can get on board with this one. Shimmery stained nails, right? <laughs> but yeah, um, with iridescent shimmers, they're gonna look totally different depending on the base you put them over, right? Like, what, what, what? So that's kind of the fun part of iridescent shimmers that this article isn't really talking about. <laughs> it's all the possibilities, all the things you can do. But I guess, you know, just put them over your naked nail. Be understated, be quiet, luxury. 10, 3D nail art trend, 3D nail art. Okay, so this is intense. This is like, not for this group here. This is like, gel artists, acrylic artists, registered licensed nail techs. Want to add major dimension to your manicure? Well, that's not very quiet, you know? I, I spot the contradiction. <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> Try the 3D trend, including the look above, which combines builder gel and magnetic and jelly polishes to make your nails look like they're covered in shiny see-through glass. The trend can take many forms, including the 3D swirls and bubbles above, a fully swirled vibe, 3D bow or heart accents, water droplets, and raised French chips. Tips. This is a new trend and is definitely a specialty technique that I'd recommend to ask your nail tech to make sure the gel is layered. This is like kind of odd, the odd one out, right? This one does not fit any of the other ones we just read. How do you not get lint stuck in 3D nails, right? This is like Nail Sunny, you know? Like Nail Sunny loves this trend. <laughs> do you remember <laughs> that channel? <laughs> Shout out to Nail Sunny, totally pioneering 3D nail art trends <laughs> in all different ways. <laughs> remember, they did like a toilet on their nails, like next level 3D trends, there you go. I'll, I'll refer Cosmo to Nail Sunny. And you could put ants in your nails. <clears throat> All right, next article, Allure. Nine nail art trends you're about to see everywhere in 2024. The year of simplicity is upon us and we cannot freaking wait. What is the psychology of wanting to be simple? Said simply nail logical. <laughs> I just realized that's my name. 
<laughs> what? Okay, on some ways I it you know, I get aspiring to be minimalist because a lot of us are collectors or we have clutter and we've lived in our houses for the past four years and never left and we just have so much shit and we're like I just need to clean and that can feel really good and productive and like a clean slate you know for, for your mind not just your home I understand that and I guess people feel that way when it comes to fashion and that always comes in cycles you know but right now, what is the fashion trend, like like for clothes? Because I wouldn't, is it really minimalist? I don't think so, right? Like we're back to baggy cargo pants and like light pink <laughs> and shit, you know? Cargo pants aren't quiet. They are loud because they are big and baggy, you know, the, like the carpenter pockets. Pajamas? Pajamas are always in. I'm wearing pajamas right now. Mob wipe. Sorry, wipe. Mob wife aesthetic. Yeah, that's not quiet luxury. That's loud luxury. Chameleon coat's gonna be the next new trend. Oh my god. The irony. Barbie. Barbie's very loud, you know? Yeah, so I don't really understand the simplicity nail look being in, personally. I like my nails to be noticed, but that's me. Okay, let's keep reading. We have some tremendously good news. In 2024, nail art trends are finally getting a make under. Why is this good news, miss? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Why are we happy about this? Uh, listen, we love a stacked and studied Manny when the vibe is there, like Megan the Stallion's gold jewelry nails or Doja Cat's bedazzled manicure. But for everyday life, question mark, in this economy, please give us something easy. Do you think they know that like just painting on a color that is bright or glittery, like can be easy? Like what is the scale they've manufactured? Like, Megan the Stallion and Doja Cat's like wild 3D crazy nails are just too much. So, the only other option is simple sheer. <laughs> That's it. In this economy, like... Who wrote this? <laughs> A millennial trying to sound like Gen Z wrote this. <laughs> Thankfully, the universe has delivered and the next year's batch of nail looks is filled with clean and simple designs like negative space, which trended last year, French tips and easy dotted florals. Oh, that's new. Flowers. Flowers are in. Okay. Plus, we'll see a surge in tools like nail stickers and squeeze tube gels that make more intricate art attainable for everyone. But you just said no. Wait, which one is it? Are we doing 3D gel nails or not? I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, let's keep writing. <laughs> of course, if you're a nail art purist who prefers to spend three hours in the salon, you'll still have some intricate options like hand-drawn porcelain nails that rival the antiques smitting, sitting at the Smithsonian. I don't know what that is. Basically, the nail art of 2024 is a choose your own adventure moment that can be classed up or dressed down. Okay, wait. So we can do what we want? There's been like three contradictions in this article. It's very, it's gonna be very hard to synthesize this one. <laughs> okay, let's see what they mean. Floating French tips. Okay, we just saw that from a previous article. Mm -hmm. So here you can get you can get a better look at it, right? It's just a misplaced French tip. It's like you you it's like you closed your eyes and your depth perception was off, and then you put the French tip on. You're like, oh shit, that's not the tip of my nail. <laughs> oh, I just missed it. <laughs> you know, it's like when you're drunk and you're trying to reach for your drink and you like reach too far and then you knock it over. It's like that. I don't mind it. I like the geometric abstract stuff. 
that's like an art style I like. It reminds me of like the Mondrian, you know, sort of in like a much more simplified way. But uh, <laughs> it's not a French tip, really. <laughs> okay, 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 simple. French tips have officially taken over next year's nail sphere and the spring 2024 runways were no exception. These are the same photos and the same comment as the previous article. So we'll just, since we've already learned about that. 3D jelly art. So we went from like nothing to ah, <laughs> everything. Okay, it's hollow though. I like that. That's interesting. It's made to look like water droplets. Remember my like multi-chrome Manny? Multi-chrome rainbow with the water droplets? A little bow on a Barbie Manny. Despite being incredibly popular in Korea and Japan for the last few years, 3D jelly nails haven't amassed the same fan following in America quite yet. But that's about to change in 2024, according to our experts who have been seeing a rise in 3D accents this year, like the pink bow above or the silver 3D heart or the clear 3D rain raindrops. It's a super fun and crafty way to apply gel. So this is all very much kind of the opposite of like sheer minimalist nails, right? Because this requires like literal building on your nails and 3D stuff that is probably not natural human nature, you know, <laughs> to have like the, what, you know, which one is it? And uh, only 10% of you have had your nails wrecked by gel X and acrylic extensions. 90% have not, so you're probably not doing this either, right? Nail trend, swirl nails. Okay, I like this. Finally, it's art. It looks cool. That, that's brushed by B. We love her. Swirl nails. Okay, okay. Got it. You gotta you have to be skilled. You know, this does require talent. This isn't just an easy trend to apply. You gotta know how to paint well. <laughs> but I like the color. And let's see what they have to say about the color. Swirl nails, ripple nails, whoa, that looks like water nails. What are they like writing a song? Whatever you call M is fine, just as long as you're talking about them for 2024. <laughs> was that, what in the sentence was that? As we head into the new year, these twirly swirly nails can be found on virtually every artist's Instagram grid. And for good reason, they're an easy way to play around with bright color combos without requiring a perfectly steady hand. Oh, they're so wrong. You have to be really steady to do this. Just, guys, listen, a uh, newspaper article writer, just because a line is curvy doesn't mean it requires an unsteady hand. <laughs> like what? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Have you ever drawn anything ever? <laughs> the author of this article. <laughs> no. Swirls are hard. They do require a steady hand because you have to trace the same swirl with every color to follow the line you created. Oh my God. I don't think they've ever drawn anything ever. They've only written things. Yeah, news for you. I'm a huge fan of bold contrasting nail shades, so I love seeing them paired together in swirl designs as they tend to pop a bit more. We love that. That's brush by B. You can experiment with groovy swirls, abstract swirls, psychedelic swirls, and textured swirls. Really, it's about expressing your personality and mood with these types of designs. Yes, I agree. Pick whatever type of swirly, and then you can pick your color palette that you're feeling you can match to your outfit. You could also simplify this a little bit if you like just wanted to do the tip, for example, and you didn't want to do the full nail, or you could just do like one nail as like an accent. But I, I like this. This is a trend that I, you could have, you could do this any year really, but I, I like that something like this is being mentioned. Finally, point for something interesting.
sorry, I have to like blow my nose in between. Sorry to my editors who are gonna have to cut the sickness out. Where is the glitter? Good question. Let's keep reading. Hopefully one will come up with it. Aura nail art. Okay, we've seen this before. Oh, I like this one. Again, brush by B. Did they just like only research one talented nail artist? <laughs> they're, just like, they're using the same person over and over. <laughs> they're like, oh, she's good. Let's just write the article quickly. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, this looks really cool. I love this aesthetic personally. This to me is a better use of color theory for doing a radial gradient rather than that very neutral to very pink in the middle, which kind of just looks like something's wrong with your skin from far away. I love this deliberate kind of shadowing on the edges in that muted blue color palette. Very cold girl. Gothic blue, yeah. That's really fun too. That's fun. Okay, good news or bad if you're a hater. Spelt with the number eight. Okay. Like, just say you're 35. <laughs> I'm 35, so I'm making my noise. Why, why did you write it like that? We don't we don't do that anymore. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I know we did that when we were 16. We are not 16 anymore, okay? Avril Lavigne is a grown woman, just like us. <laughs> you can still love her and skater boy, <laughs> but you do not write in an article with the letter eight. Listen, and I love Avril, okay? I still have Abidon clothes. I still wear my hair like her. I sometimes dream of dying in orange again. <laughs> but, but but listen, <laughs> we gotta have a talk. It, yeah, it's so retro now. Maybe she didn't have enough characters. She definitely had enough characters, okay. Aura nails aren't going anywhere in 2024. In fact, our experts say they're one of the biggest nail art trends we can expect to see next year, and honestly, we aren't mad about it. I love the illusion of aura art, says Candelec. This person was cited in the previous article. It creates this really beautiful apex and gradient on your nails that looks expensive. Does it look expensive? That's not my read. I just think it looks sick, like shadows. Why do we want to look expensive? What is this? emphasis on looking luxury and expensive in this economy <laughs> if you're a pro at doing your own nail art anyone anyone you can try to recreate this look on yourself by painting the aura design onto a clean makeup wedge then dabbing it onto your nail peep this aura tutorial from ellen to show to see how or you can try the eyeshadow method which involves stippling eyeshadow Eh, I'm not the biggest fan of the eyeshadow stuff. I don't think it works that well, but. Um, I do like these, you know, just say gradient also. Like this is a, this is a radial gradient, a circle gradient, circular gradient. Um, but uh, I like it. Simply approved. Glazed porcelain nails for 2024. Okay. I like this because it's different, right? It's a very specific type of design that uh, like reminds you of your, your grandmother's plates, <laughs> but it's, it's unique and I can appreciate something that is unique and that isn't just like a copy paste of everything from every other year, like minimalist nails, blah, <laughs> you know, Hailey Bieber, ah, like, no, thank you. <laughs> but this is talent and really cool. Now this may not be attainable for most people at home who are not nail artists, but this is really cool to look at. And I, I appreciate the uniqueness. And if you are a talented nail artist, imagine the fun you could kind of have with this look and choosing to do something slightly different and intricate each time. Yeah, this is a good one for talented nail artists. Sorry, grandma, but we're taking your antique ceramics and putting them on our nails for 2024. 
why is that sorry? You know, like grandma would be proud, I, I think. Blue and white prints have had a resurgence of popularity recently because they're effortlessly elegant, timeless, let me guess, and expensive, <laughs> and loved by so many cultures, says nail artist Emily Zhang, who paid homage to the year of the rabbit with her Chinese porcelain nails above. See the little rabbit? Yeah, that's really cute. Brooklyn-based nail artist Samantha, whose nails take inspiration from Dutch Delftware, agrees. The color combo is so comforting, like a thrifted vase or vintage teapot, that you can't help but be drawn to it to stare at it. And there is also, what I'm gleaning from this, is like a romanticization of things past, right? Like a thrifted or a vintage or your grandmother's things. And that is just trends in general, right? We often like aestheticize stuff that's from past generations and try and like relive it in our own. But it's like, that is it because we're bored and like we don't have anything else to do? We're like, look at this from 30 years ago. Let's do that. <laughs> you know? And then everything repeats itself. I do like this one though, regardless of, of that analysis, because it's so specifically unique, right? Like, and that's what hasn't come up so far in these trends. Yeah, we're going for thrifted grandma. Thank you, Mac. All this stuff is easy with gel nails, not so easy with lacquer polish. I actually think you could do this with royalty blue and not milky white or shady navy if you wanted it to be darker. I think if you were a talented nail artist, you could totally do this with regular nail polish. You can thin out the regular nail polish a little bit with um, like some nail polish thinner on a yogurt lid or on your mat to make it a little more um, uh, like less viscous because I know what you mean. It does get hard-ish to paint, but it, it's possible. By the way, a clue pretty please is the launch next Saturday. Oh my God. Okay, like relax. It's been 30 minutes. We're gonna get into more clues. At, it, only if clues come about in the trends. Will Holo Taco be on trend this year? I don't know, you know, we'll find out. <laughs> yeah, sorry, you guys are getting ads paid for by the government of Ontario. <laughs> Learn, I don't even know what this is about. Don't be surprised, be consumer wise. What am I learning more on? I don't wanna click this, I'm scared. Sephora. <laughs> Molten chrome accents. That looks like spirit fingers and bat bitch. This looks like that other Manny we saw, the pink aura with like neutral to hot pink, but then just putting chrome on top. There's another aura Manny with chrome. One of the biggest nail trends and pedicure colors of 2023 was chrome. Hello, yes, hi. Specifically, a full set of monochromatic silver that screamed bling. But for 2024 nail art, the megawatt shine will be dialed back and replaced with molten chrome accents. So just do it as an accent. You can pair your chrome accents with a complementary base color, like Zhang's metallic polish above, or mash it together with a mix of 2024 trends like adding it to aura nails or crystal nails. Either way, chrome is not a short-term trend, says Brittany, uh, it's here to stay. Okay, so this article is saying chrome, but just as an accent. To, this doesn't look very minimalist though. You know, this is kind of hardcore. <laughs> but okay, you know, I don't mind. Little, uh, you could paint on some chrome stripes with world's first which we finally restocked. Y2K flowers. That's cute. That's pretty, that's, that's like Barbie's influence, right? If you first came into consciousness during the early aughts, what? You probably spent the first few years of your manicured life with floral nail art adorning your toes. But don't worry, the squared off French tips won't be joining us in 2024 just the dotted flowers sprinkled across each fingernail. These are the simplest flowers you can paint for a beginner, yet they will always look impressive. 
Also, unlike many of the, the 2000s trends that burn brightly for a month before fizzling out, these throwback flowers aren't specific enough to be associated with a season. So you could do them for any season. I like this. This is kind of cute. And some of this is kind of, uh, you know, a bit trending. I saw like Furby came out with pink clothes again and, you know, or did like a collab with a clothing company. Some Y2K stuff is coming back. You know, we came out with the retro collection. <laughs> Amateur nail art. I'm wearing a chrome dry brush look right now. Crimson Void with world's first. <gasps> oh, that sounds actually cool. I like that. It's kind of like gothic chrome. But that's good. That's good. Aughts is the early 2000s. Really? I've never heard of that time period being referred to as that. <laughs> Mono crystal nails. We saw this in a previous one. So, you know, just a couple rhinestonies. Alphabet nails. That was last year too, I swear to God. Wasn't it? Elementary school is back in session for 2024 with alphabet manis. Individually lettered nails that have started to pop up in different iterations as we creep closer to the new year. Are they telling us to learn how to spell? <laughs> the nail trend says, go back to school. Even Vanessa Hudgens tried alphabet nails for her bridal manicure, spelling out bride and Mrs. T. <laughs> Really? <laughs> okay. I mean, sure. That's fun. Okay. We have more articles to get through, so I'm going to go through some of them a little bit quicker. Unless there's something uh, that I want to read. 2024 Nail Trends. 14 manicure ideas that will be everywhere this year. This article is from People Magazine. From artsy designs to vibrant shades, here's what nail artists are predicting will be popular in the next year. We got Hailey Bieber and Cam Camilla Cabello. It's never too early to start planning your manicures for 2024. <laughs> is, that, is that what we do? We plan our man. I mean, I do, I guess, but that's my job. Is that what you do? Do you plan your manicures in advance for the full year? You just have a calendar. You're like, well, this year, here's my manicure calendar agenda <laughs> while it can be hard to predict which nail looks will suddenly go viral some polishes and nail art designs are guaranteed to have their moment in the new year simply has been planning for us since 2022 i mean i i do plan out your manicures a year in advance when you think about it when i uh, have to decide and approve the collections a year in advance we're working on, uh, we're trying to finish up fall now. <laughs> Whether you're feeling something simple or out of the box, there'll be plenty of manicure ideas to add to your rotation. Bold shades like red and electric blue are here to stay, but softer colors will also be everywhere come spring. Intricate nail art will also be making an appearance from texture designs to pierced nails. No, not again. For an eye-catching manicure that looks luke's but won't cost you too many hours. Again, look expensive. Simply put, hello? This year is all about mixing up with timeless designs that still pack a punch. One, chrome nails. We did this last year. Thanks to Beyonce's Renaissance Tour, metallics were everywhere in 2023. You can still expect to see chrome finishes in the new year, but in a range of colors. Okay, listen. Listen, trend people. You said that chrome was trending last year, okay? Hollow Taco also coincidentally released a, a chrome collection before it knew that Chrome would trend, because, you know, we had to decide a year in, in advance. And, uh, I don't think, I think you think it's more of a trend than it actually was. Because, <laughs> like, 
it looks really cool and people who love to experiment with different looks did it, but not everyone is following reported trends. You know what I mean? I don't think you're answering all the like regular nail painting people when you do things that are a little bit like yeah, ex extreme, if that makes sense. Also RIP to trophy life. <laughs> that did not make it. <laughs> Despite Chrome trending, trophy life did not make it. Holo Taco has the world's first Chrome. That is true. No one had ever made Chrome before. Mm -hmm. R.I.P. to Trophy Life and Aqua Boil. Is it sold out yet? No, it's not. But she's retiring. <laughs> What's wrong with these short, square, gold chrome nails? <laughs> All right, well, you know, I I'll take it if chrome is, is still in. Textured designs, this one also has chrome. If you're new to nail art, textured designs are the perfect place to start. No, they're not. That is not the good place to start. If you're new to nail art. What? That is the worst advice you could ever give someone. What? No, that's like, if you're new to driving, just start in a Ferrari. No, <laughs> you do not start driving in a Ferrari. <laughs> Hello? You start with like a floating French tip or some bullshit. Whether it is added to a classic French or a mismatch set as 3D bubbles, this look is so versatile. Is this a versatile look? Or are they just saying doing 3D nails is versatile? I think that's what they mean. I love stamping with the chromes. I bought two times backups when you announced that Trophy Life and Aquafoil were being retired. Right? You can use them for stamping. But not many people stamp. Okay. Confusion over this one. Trend three. Hazy blue. Look, we're twinning. Oh, I didn't even show you my nails. Oops, I should turn on my camera. Camera on. Come on, camera. Guys, look, I have cold girl nails. What do you think? Okay. This is cold slate and crystal skies. And then on the thumb, oh, I wanna show you the thumb. I painted the creme cold slate on and then I just kind of dabbed on crystal skies and kind of faded it down so it looks like an icicle or a snowy cold mountain. Could have done this on all the nails, but I don't know. Just did it on, on the one. And uh, yeah, these are my cold girl nails. Don't mind my little my little boo boo here. Oops, oops, cover that. <laughs> okay. I heard cold girl nails were trending, so I put on cold girl nails, and then I uh, I'm wearing something that looks cold. <laughs> I can get behind this color. Cold girl makeup went viral at the beginning of 2023 and the trend is making its way into nails for 2024. Saunders sees light blue polish with a touch of gray, which creates a hazy blue color emerging as a nail trend in the winter months. To add a touch of sparkle, layer your blue with a silver shimmer polish. Right? I mean, I did glitter instead of shimmer, but I like this because I am always cold and I feel like this color does a good job of 
articulating or illustrating how my fingers actually feel most of the time, which is cold. <laughs> Whose extremities are always cold, you know? Just paint your nails to match. It didn't even know I was on trend. Hazy blue, cold girl, I can get behind this because I too am a cold girl. Next up, electric blue. Okay, perfect, vibrant colors. According to Hernandez, electric blue will also be trending in 2024. So royalty blue, <laughs> good thing we brought it back. Because <laughs> th these are very different color palettes, right? You know, I guess they're trying to give a little something for everyone. Shades of red. Red was the biggest color trend of 2023, was it? Just because of that like TikTok nail theory stuff? And the vibrant hue isn't going anywhere for 2024. Even though red polish is a color we attach to either a classic look or a seasonal option. A seasonal option? Holiday, holiday and Valentine's. It's actually currently trending. I recently painted Chanel Le Vernis Longwear Nair Couleur in Rouge Puissant for an editorial, <laughs> and it looked so fresh and modern. Okay, also predict that a slightly darker shade of red known as Cherry Cola will be popular next year if you're searching for a vampy winter nail look. I kind of like that. Like a little, like, like a space vampire color, you know? Okay, Hailey Bieber, she's wearing red this year. Six, squoval nails. Not square. This article says squoval. Even though almond-shaped nails have been trending for several seasons, they've evolved into a more classic look and squoval soft square will appear more often with on-trend manicures. Squoval nails pair well with nearly any color. What color do they not pair well with? Like, wait, she said nearly any color. <laughs> nearly. I, which one would just, you know, humor me? <laughs> what color can you not wear with squoval nails? <laughs> what? what? From chocolate brown to neon yellow, you can choose a shade that matches the season and your mood. Wow, permission to wear what we want. Okay, they said squoval, other articles said square. Bows. Again, bow nail art is more than just a holiday manicure staple. It's a, it's a holiday manicure staple. Which holiday? Your birthday? Predicts that a coquette-inspired nail look with bows will have a place in 2024. She, su she suggests freehanding bow outlines on your nails to create an artistic feel to them, but you can also use bow charms or rhinestones. This is getting into 3D nail art territory, you know, which I don't think the majority are gonna do for practical purposes and because they do their own nails, right? But this is Camilla Cabello, so. Celebrity nails. Trend eight, mismatch nails. You mean a Skittle Manny? Is that a Skittle Manny? Okay, I like it. When multiple shades or designs catch your eye in 2024, instead of picking one, just wear them all. Thank you, the chaos. Yes, chaos trend. Hernandez recommends being as creative as possible with this look, as there is no wrong when it comes to these pick and mix beauties. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> if you like to keep things simple, stick to solid shades for an elegant yet unique nail look. Okay, they just endorsed the Skittle Mini. Thank God. Holy shit. I like this for whether you're a nail artist and it, because it gives you an opportunity to try different things and different techniques. But even if you're like more regular person, and let's say you're not doing as intricate French tips, but you just wanna try like one nail has a French tip or one nail has glitter or one nail has like a faint glitter gradient on top of a creme. Just do a little bit of something different 
and it just lets you have fun and also try out more techniques and decide what you like or what you you can you can get good at and or or even a way to try out like different polishes and different formulas that way right so i'm on board with the mismatched nails nine peach Pantone came out with their color of 2024 and it's called Peach Fuzz. And I can see us all reaching for a peachy sheen nail color come the spring of 24. This warm and cozy shade of peach is perfect for the spring and summer months and a simple and chic manicure. I asked you guys, was it last stream? I can't remember, a couple streams ago I asked you if you think Hollow Taco's Rest in Peach, which is basically the same color, would sell better just because Pantone said this was a color of the year. And most of you in the chat voted like, no. Like, it's not just that something is a Pantone color will make something sell all of a sudden. And I, I agree with that in principle. Like, I don't think it's gonna meaningfully do anything. Uh, but I'm interested to see if there's a little bit of lift. Now, Holotago didn't come out with this a year ago anticipating it to be the color of the year. Like, no, we don't do that. <laughs> but it happens. You know what's, what's interesting though? Do you remember when Pantone came out with two colors of the year and it was gray and yellow? They should do that more often. Why is it only one color? Why is there only one color of the year? Can I have many colors of the year? Can you give me a palette of the year? Give me something more exciting to work with, you know? What's the hollow of the year? Rainbow of the year. <laughs> Is it a dark rainbow? Is it a, a candy crushed rainbow? You know, what's the rainbow of the year? <laughs> Stars. So we had bows. Now we have stars. Your nail look is written in the stars. Literally, Hernandez says that hand-drawn stars, while tedious, will be a trend. The simple star set can be so versatile for any reason. She says, practice, practice, practice is everything. I mean, this is cool, but uh, I don't... Have you seen stars trending anywhere else? Like, why stars? I feel like they just threw that in there, you know? <laughs> but okay. <laughs> I mean, we did just release Starry Eyed. So yeah, sure. Stars. Stars in your nail polish. <laughs> Animal prints? What? Really? Okay. Animal prints are a classic take on nail art. There are just so many options. Leopard print tortoise shell and even cow spots for a fun and timeless mani. For this animal print mani, Hernandez combined leopard print with a pop of green for an even bolder look. Interesting for a magazine, a magazine, whatever, I'm just using the word magazine, to report that like animal prints are trending because I don't think I've seen that in any other discourse, at least so far in our nail trend analysis or otherwise in like fashion. I feel like they're just saying every, every possible art style. <laughs> it's like your horoscope where it just like hits every possibility, you know? Yeah, touch grass and leopards, they said. Pierced nails? No, I thought we got over this. <laughs> Please, God, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Pierced nails triggers me. I can't do it. No. You take a thin nail drill to carefully file through your nail before adding a piercing or a charm. No. Oh, do not puncture a hole in my body. That's what it feels like. <laughs> Absolutely. You will not drill a hole through me. Thank you. Anyone remember my jawbreaker nails? The trauma? No, absolutely not. Short and square nails. Did this article not say Scoville or was that a different one?
spot the contradiction. They said squirrel nails and then they said short and square nails in the same article. Oh my God, somebody's lying to me. Long nails will never grow out of style. Yes, thank you. But with celebs like Olivia Rodrigo and Sophia Richie Grange embracing their natural nails as of late, shorter lengths will be favored in 2024. Saunders predicts that super short and square nails reminiscent of the simplicity of the 90s. Oh, the simplicity of the 90s? You mean like no social media? Yeah, we're never gonna get back there. <laughs> R.I.P. Will be the new go-to look. She recommends pairing the style with a sheer pink. Wow. 2024 is looking so exciting, guys. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> ah. Simply not logical torture. 14 aura nails again. Capture your 2024 energy with aura nails. Mm-hmm. You can do it with an airbrush gun or pigment powders. Like, they're, they're saying this like we're listening. You can achieve this look with an airbrush gun or pigment powders. No, you can't. <laughs> Maybe your nail tech can. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can use a makeup sponge and try and gradient it with a lot of patience and practice, but... All right, let's, we'll go to the next one. I'm just gonna do a quick pee out the tea and run an ad for Susie, but I'll, I'll leave uh, this spicy dill pickle buddy A&W ad on for you. Give me, give me a minute. Welcome back. Make sure you uh, refill your tea, get your water. Harper's Bazaar. All the best nail trends to try in 2024. Add them to your Manny vision board. Bows and pearls. Okay. You've seen it. Charmed, I'm sure. What? Um, wow, that's... That's wild. That's that's a lot. That's, that's jewelry. <laughs> that is... That's jewelry, actually. <laughs> oh, oh, is that... Uh, oh, that's Megan Thee Stallion. Oh, that's what they were referring to. Okay, cool. I hate this. I hate charms hanging from your nose. That I cannot do. It, it, it triggers me. Okay, deep blue. This is a, a few times we've seen blue mentioned. Okay, 
deep blue. That's all they're saying about it, just deep blue. Peach fuzz may be the Pantone color of the year, but nails are going a different direction. They are? I thought we were doing peach nails. Wait, what? According to Pinterest, searches for fun blue nails increased by 260%. Where's your citation? Let me, I need to click. How do I get that data? Bring, bring this look, okay? This article is kind of like all over the place. What's happening? Okay, this article said no peach, just blue. Will we save Sonic Unicorn skin then? <laughs> Graphic French tips. Okay, 3D texture. We've seen the 3D gel nails a lot. The return of the squoval. They say squoval, not square. Short nail fans rejoice the squoval, that is a hybrid between square and oval, is back and looks great with natural, not too long nails. Mm -hmm. Molten metallics. Is that metallic? That's not metallic. That's kind of, kind of metallic. Another look gaining traction for the new year, according to Pinterest, metallic nail art, which is up 200. Where are they getting, like, <laughs> what? What? What sources are they using? Our takeaway, Chrome looks won't be going anywhere just yet. Another article saying Chrome is still happening. Okay, you better be listening. <laughs> That's it? Lindsay, Lindy, come on. Give me a few more, Lindy. <laughs> All right. This one's from Real Simple. Huge in, hello? Is it? Oh my God, these ads are ridiculous. It, it won't tell me the title. <laughs> Huge in 2024. <laughs> these 2024 nail trends veer into two distinct categories, minimalism and maximalism. Okay, an acknowledgement of doing both ends of the spectrum. Three D nail art, noting that for like the fourth or fifth time. Metallic nails with a twist. Interesting. Actually, I like those. That's kind of like rainbow metallic, right? That looks like um whether it was sponged on or kind of dabbed on and then they probably put like a powder chrome. It looks like gel to me, but. Metallic nails remain covetable through 2024. Now with nuanced details that elevate designs even further. Think cat eye metallic nails. Do they mean, wait, do you mean magnetic? Think cat eye metallic nails that lend a multi-dimensional effect mixed and matched metals, extra shiny chrome nails, and more simplified designs using metallic accents. I don't think they're saying what they think they're saying. <laughs> like, wait, what? Which one do you mean? <laughs> do you mean magnetic? Or do you mean metallic? Or magnetic metallic? Next is lip gloss nails. A sheer manny? Don't put lip gloss on your nails and don't put nail polish on your lips. From latte nails to bubble bath nails, ultra minimalist manicures are totally in for 2024. Lip gloss nails, which entails a clear glossy coat of polish over natural nails, perfectly epitomize this nail trend. Do they know that there is a word for that? Like it's called a glossy top coat. You don't need to use the word lip gloss. So like it's, it's a top coat. <laughs> what? What if they accidentally confused children? You know, think of the children on TikTok who are learning about lip gloss nails and then they put nail polish on their lips You know, we have to be clear with our instruction in our direction, <laughs> you know? Top coat for your nails is glossy, and then you can make it shiny to look like lips. <laughs> I'm so confused. 
Anyways, same trend as last year. Uh, you know, just m make your nails look the same as they look. Glazed donut without the glaze. Ombre nails. Gradient nails. Okay, I like it. I like it. This is this is very nice. Nice little fade there. Everyone is still very much enjoying clean lines and clean makeup. And to complement these looks, people are looking towards simple classic nails. Is this simple classic? I don't know. I mean, to me, yeah. <laughs> to me. Just a simple classic pastel gradient. <laughs> But I like it, yeah. And then you can do wh literally whatever color. Coquette Manny, bows. Okay, we got it. 70s aura nails. Wait, what do they think aura means? On the opposite end of the spectrum, we've got groovy aura nails, which give serious good vibes only energy. Says this design is all about layering different colors to create an aura-like effect where one color evolves into the others. Did this artist refer to it as aura? I don't see that in their caption. This is swirl nails, not aura nails. Ugh. Somebody didn't do their research. <laughs> like, okay, the, this look is really cool. I love it. I kind of love that gradient in blocks of swirl color. That's another interesting way of doing a gradient. I love that art style. Um, but it's not aura nails, you know? You're, you're gonna write an important research article telling the people what the trends are. You better make sure you are being accurate. <laughs> Soft peach nails. Just another peach, peachy. Pantone's color of the year again. Okay, so people citing that again. Skinny French tips. Oh, is that re like reflective topper? Okay, I actually think that's pretty. It looks like diamonds on your tips. There was a hot minute where French tips were deemed very uncool. There was? Says who? What? But that moment was a flash in the pan. The French tip revival we've seen over the last few years has a stronghold on the nail community and it's going nowhere in 2024. Okay, so we are doing French tips on the tip. It says real simple. Not to backtrack, Professor Simply, but can we get a how-to sometime on those metallic rainbow gradient nails? I don't care if trendy, those were beautiful. You mean these ones? Here, I'll tell you how I think they did them. Well, okay, no, I think this is gel. The... With regular polish, I'd probably recommend doing a spongy gradient where you kind of dab the colors randomly on the sponge uh, instead of like a straight linear gradient. So you just kind of like get the colors kind of randomly and just dab in the same spot and then put an iridescent shimmer topper on top, like a neutral one, maybe Polar Princess or Halogen Glow. It's not going to look exactly like this. This looks like a chrome powder that is really best done with the gel product but if you're looking for something kind of like that uh, yeah that's what I would say yeah everyone agrees it looks like gel um sorry just to finish this one off I think this is pretty like okay maybe not for me because I like color on my nails but the reflective pigments, which this is, which they didn't even realize in their like description, but this is a reflective silver pigment that sparkles and reflects back when you put a flash on it, just like reflective taco or disco dust taco. That's cool. If that, if that's trending, <laughs> is that trending? You know, where you put a flash on it and it lights up silver, like that's really pretty. Uh, you can also sponge it on, on the tips to get it more concentrated if you want it just on the tips. I don't think I have a picture here, but there's a short on the Holotaka YouTube channel um, or on Instagram where if you sponge on disco dust, it kind of shows it like that. Or maybe I do have a picture. I can't. No, I don't. That's just regular. 
but reflective pigments are really cool. There, that, that looks more like maybe two coats. But you could do, yeah, okay, let's make it our way. So do this, but do it with Disco Dust Taco. So you can have the balance, let's say, between a sheer minimalist mani, just use like smoothing base coat or whatever. And then on the tip, do a rainbow reflective topper. I think that's kind of a fun, like little sparkle of rainbows that reflect when you like put on the flash on the tip, but also maybe can cater to people who want a overall a little bit more minimalist. That is cool. Cause I, I need something that's interesting, you know? And it's okay if the whole nail isn't interesting. I can appreciate like a little accent of interesting, but that's what someone will, you know, see your nails and ask, oh, that's actually cool. What do you, oh, it's like a rainbow on your tips just when the flash goes off, that, that's fun. All right. This article is from who, what, where? Who, what, who, what, where, what? <laughs> These are the only 2024 nail trends that you need to know. Okay, the last five articles we just read, forget them. This is the one article that we need to know. I'm not ashamed to say I've planned my next Manny. In fact, I've had it booked for weeks. You see, as a beauty editor, it's my job to be ahead of the trends. And I speak to lots of experts on a daily basis about which nail shades and nail art designs are gonna be big. Okay, they are a seasoned researcher. Because of this, I often get a little too excited and end up planning my next manicure weeks in advance. Same girl. <laughs> so it shouldn't come as a surprise that I've even started thinking about what nails to go for at the start of spring and the nail trends we can expect to see in 2024. Okay, I love the enthusiasm. She's coming out of the gate like, I've been dreaming of this article and all of the pictures I'm gonna include for months now. I am passionate about the trends. <laughs> all right, everything we need to know, ready? Nail trends 2024, one, metallic and chrome finishes. First up, we've got metallic and chrome finishes. Shelton says that although this trend is huge right now, it's not going anywhere. I've seen so many celebs rocking this manicure with the hashtag chome nails. Oh, that's an unfortunate spelling error. <laughs> chrome nails. Racking up a cool 1.6 billion views on TikTok. It's definitely one to keep an eye on. I'm personally a big fan of the trend as I think it makes your manicure look ultra luxe. All right, look expensive. Although I opted for the gold and silver shades in December, I will transition into more neutral chrome finishes for February. All right, so this article is saying chrome is still here. Comb, actually, it's comb, not chrome. Yeah, oh, oh look, oh my God. That's so funny, you like a, a gold chrome? Damn. <laughs> Have you heard of Trophy Life? It's retiring. <laughs> okay. To animal print nail art? What? Like my cats? Who doesn't love an animal print? Nail prints will be in and will be the new go-to. Celebs are already rocking these looks. I will require citations. Where are your sources? My sources tell, are they, are they listening to me? My sources tell me leopard print is about to have a renaissance. So why not wear this this trend on your nails too? It's perfect for those of you who like to make a statement with your manicure. I mean, yes, it does make a statement. What do you guys think? Carol Baskin vibes, <laughs> like cracked taco. Who doesn't love cats? The giraffe. How about feathers? Not the Jersey Shore era. Leopard print has never left. Her source, Carol Baskin. <laughs> 
I don't mind it for the the artistic component because it does take some skill to make it look like a convincing animal print, you know? Like you could try and do zebra lines or cheetah print and it, it just looked terrible. So not everyone can pull it off. So it's not that easy. So I appreciate it for the like skill required. But I don't know if I agree that I'm like seeing it as a nail trend, you know? It's not very minimalist or clean girly aesthetic either. Like what? Make up your mind. How about, this is the year of confused girlies. <laughs> Almond shaped nails, wait. I don't know if we can trust anything else you say now. Every other article said almond shapes nails were out. According to Shelton, I have questions for Shelton. Long almond nails will be big next year. They're one of the most flattering nail shapes in my opinion. The reason this nail shape is so flattering is that it can elongate the look of your fingers and hands. But that's not what people want to do, allegedly. They want short square nails to look like they have shorter nails than they actually are by doing a floating French tip, which actually gives the illusion of even shorter nails. Which one is it? I don't know who to trust anymore. I have trust issues. I have trend trust issues. <laughs> How about we do a poll on nail shape? Now, before you even answer it, I'll just repeat what I said like an hour ago. Nail shape should not be a trend, okay? Nail shape should be what makes the most sense for you and your lifestyle, your nail shape, and what you can manage to maintain and be happy with the painting and performance on. That's it, okay? That's it. <laughs> what nail shape do you currently heads up luke's is pronounced like ducks <laughs> okay mais pas en français là c'est luke's là okay i am the original fancy because i speak french <laughs> unlike the ladies who wear chanel but do not know any french who says Lux? I, I, I never said that. It's Lux. Because it's like French. What nail shape? Where was I? You're distracting me. Oh, no. Okay. Um, I only have four poll options. So this is... This is hard. Yeah, we just have duck nails in the shower. Okay. Short and square. I'm not gonna have enough options. Susan! Let's say short, uh, fuck. I can't, you know what, I can't do, I can't do short. I won't be able to do short. Squoval, almond, or like pointy. Yeah, there. So regardless of whether your nails are long or short, just pick the shape of them. Square, squoval, almond, or pointy. Like coffin, pointy, whatever. I'll have to do another poll about whether they're long or not. If you have oval nails, they're almond. Like this picture, that's oval or almond. We only have four options. So if you're naming all these other weird ones like ba ballerina, like, sorry, you're in a minority. <laughs> like that's, I'm not, we're not gonna make a spot for that one. <laughs> What's round? Uh, almond. Almond is round. Round is almond, guys, like this. It's round enough. Do you know your shapes? <laughs> you ruined the data? Oh my God, we need to learn shapes. 
Almond is not brown. Okay, listen, I know, but it's close enough <laughs> that like they can go in the same category for all intents and purposes. I we are limited by our resources in this four category only poll, fam. Listen, I know that we're all scientific expert data researchers here. We just we only have the tools that we have. <laughs> Shapes are hard. It's 2024. Shapes are hard. Okay, I'll keep reading and let you guys keep filling that out. Oh my god, that's scary. Why is this ad in front? Ugh, get off. Okay, another trend Shelton says isn't going anywhere is a classic red mani. In my opinion, this timeless shade will always be in style. Not only is it a sophisticated choice, but it adds a fun pop of color to any look. That's what I would like, pops of color. Classic red. I mean, sure. Naked nails. <laughs> Naked nails. Okay, barely there, there it is again. The great thing about the naked nail trend is that it's easy to recreate and maintain at home and your nails will definitely thank you. Uh, actually, my nails would not thank me. My nails only thank me if I put hollow or glitter on them. <laughs> Short square nail shapes. What? Did they just contradict themselves in their same article? They did. Which one is the trend? Is it almond? Or is it short square nail shapes? They're so much easier to maintain and more achievable for those who don't like nail enhancements. This is definitely a much more practical nail shape. I always find that my nails look so much healthier when I keep them short. Okay. All right, let me close the poll and then we'll, here, I will show you this. What nail shape does chat currently have? 55%, the majority are squoval, which means slightly rounded corners. My nails, I would consider squoval nails too. 29% are almond, which is like rounded kind of. 13% are square and 2% are pointy. Interesting, because most-ish of these articles are saying short square nails, like that's coming out more. And I actually think those are harder to maintain because of the squareness at the ends. And seeing that only 13% have square altogether, yes, I know I didn't ask you if they were long or short, but actually longer would be even harder to maintain. I think it's because it's hard to maintain very square nails. And that's why not many people have them. The easiest nail shape for most people to maintain short or long is a rounded edge. So a bit more squoval. Cool. Interesting results. Probably a little more like, um, uh, I thought this margin would be a little bit less, but it's actually a more like drastic difference between squoval and, and square. So it's interesting. Unless you guys didn't understand shapes and you answered wrong. <laughs> All right. Seven, sky blue nails. If you've read our guide to the biggest spring and summer fashion trends, then you will know that sky blue nails are going to be everywhere and nails are no exception. And nails are no, aw, oh, proofreading. <laughs> okay, baby blue. That's nice, very nice. This bright pastel hue is perfect for spring and summer and looks chic with both long and short. Does it? Wow. It's very bet bet blue, yeah, very Julian. Actually, Julian invented this trend. Come on, guys, give him credit. <laughs> coquette nails. Wait, those aren't bows. Wait, flowers are coquette now? The coquette aesthetic is everywhere right now, and coquette nails are an easy way to incorporate the trend into your look. There are so many ways to give this manicure a go, from floral nail art to bows and even pearl embellishment. Okay, there's bows. Interesting. 
I guess they just mean like what is traditionally girly. All right, that was it for that article. Article from InStyle, 10 nail trends that will be huge in 2024. Tell me more. The prospect of a clean slate and new creative energy is thrilling. One, baby blues. Okay, baby blue, interesting. The color of 2024 Manny's is for sure blue. Is it not peach? Particularly in the beginning of the year and through spring, we'll see lots of soft, muted, pale blues. Interesting. Okay. Two, chrome nails from silver chrome inspired by Beyonce's Renaissance Tour all the way to Hailey Bieber's glazed donut. Chrome is here to stay. Okay, Hailey Bieber does not chrome, but okay. However, we'll see chrome in a wider range of colors. Not only are there more colors for chrome, there's different types of chrome. Most of us know about traditional powder chrome, but as technology continues to advance, nail color trends may include even more futuristic metallic shades. Do they know something I don't? <laughs> Wait, what? What technology advancing? We're inventing new colors of chrome? Have you heard of chameleon coat? <laughs> Hello, this looks like chameleon coat, kinda. Well, green chrome, will it finally have its moment after five years of pain and suffering? Three, velvet nails, AKA magnetic. I believe that's what they mean. Velvet nails achieved via magnetic nail polish are especially popular in the fall and winter as they embody cozy vibes. But as we head into the warmer months, Van Eiderstein says we'll see velvet finishes on fresh new spring colors. Kind of reminds me, like, Menchi, Menchi Cat Eye was kind of that, like sage greeny, springy. Um, but the velvet nail is magnetic polish, but if you use the wand in the more subtle way, where you just kind of hover it on the side instead of doing the cat eye. But it's the same product, like magnetic polish. Four, vibrant colors. Okay, and that's also a radial gradient, Manny. Color trends for next year are more bold and vibrant. That is the opposite of what the other article said. <laughs> Okay, I, I prefer this article then. I like this result. It's about playful self-expression instead of your traditional one solid color. Picture bright neons, animated jewel tones and funky color combos. Yes, please. Yes, please. Simply, it's been a year for me in the Menchie gang and I'm so thankful. Thank you, Springs Makeup, sending love for me and my friends from Israel. Thank you for hanging out with us for a full year. Yeah, the contrast between these two, right? Thank you, Jody. Letting my delusional mind think that blue nails are in because of the Detroit Lions. Is that, is that a basketball team or a sports team? Go blue. Sure, yes, yes, go blue team. Go blue team, go. Five, juicier lip gloss nails. This is not very minimalist. Lip gloss nails dominated last spring and summer, and we don't see them going away anytime soon. But instead of baby pink, we anticipate a rise in the popularity of semi sheer jelly fruity shades. This is like life is plastic. Barbie's influence. I like this article better because it's like telling me, it's giving me bright colors. I will accept. Six, metallic foils. In alignment with the continued embrace of metallic finishes, Hay expects to see an uptick, uptick in the use of foils. Really? I feel like I haven't seen nail foils used in so long. Cause they're, it's a little temperamental. The nail foil is like, you could use it at home, but you need a specific 
gluey-ish base. And then you have to use the foil on top and it's like a transfer paper. And then it kind of comes off. It's like um, back in the day I did oil slick nails with transfer papers. I just haven't seen much of this. Not that, you know, occasionally someone might not do it, but um, I haven't seen that at all. This is the only article to mention that. All right. I just want to finish these articles a little bit quicker and we'll get to my final analysis. This is from Birdie. Tweet, tweet. This winter's biggest nail trends include icy shimmer and bow details. Okay, shimmer. I like that. This season, the nail world is taking a cue from the weather, embracing icy layers or choosing to put a bow on the colors they love dearly. While some of these looks work best under the eye of a skilled professional, there are plenty of ways to DIY them. One, midnight chrome. Okay, I like that. <laughs> That's cool. Kind of reminds me of great, kind of. The glazed donut nail trend will continue to be around, but with a twist. I am obsessed with black nails right now and recently created the glazed look with OPI. So this, this is more like nail tech stuff, you know? Like you could do like a black creme base and then add um, like a silvery pearly or like a grayish chrome powder. That's how people do this as opposed to uh, just like a single use nail polish formula because you're never gonna get a, the same type of super chrome effect in a darker color because the darker you make the chrome formula, the less reflective it is. So it ends up just looking more like metallic instead of chrome, which is fine, but it's not the same as doing that kind of gel mani with a chrome powder, which is not like regular nail polish. But for vibes, it gives me great vibes or overshadowed, which is a little more bluer, but kind of hits that middle. Actually, it kind of does look like that. Overshadowed can read a bit um, gray on some people, like a grayish bluey. Like if you stand back, yeah. But it also has hollow, you know, just to make things a little more interesting. Two, a new take on velvet. That's a magnetic mani, right? Yeah. Expect velvet nails to continue their reign, but with a twist. This winter, I'm having a lot of requests for velvet nails using magnetic cat eye polish. But that's not the cat eye. Oftentimes with a glass or transparent color, color on top. They don't know how magnetic nail polish works. You don't put glass or transparent color on top. You, I mean, like, well, you've always put a top coat. But magnetic polish just does that. Like, it gives you that 3D effect. You don't put a glass on top. <laughs> you can tell when someone's, like, never painted their nails, you know? It says hand paint. Uh-oh. says hand-painted nail artist. Uh-oh, did they just misquote her? It's probably taken out of context, right? Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Kind of, it's probably taken out of context. Put with a wrong sentence otherwise. Maybe they meant the top coat. Maybe they were just about to talk about a top coat. <laughs> All right. Three, dark abstracts. What does that mean? Another trend Hughes has her eyes on, dark abstract designs. This one is especially fun because there's no real inspiration image necessary. Ask your nail tech to get artsy or play around with your own skill set. If it doesn't look perfect, who cares? It's abstract. I, I still don't know what they mean is the trend. Like I like dark nails. I like abstract stuff. I don't think they know what they mean either. Can you be more specific, please? <laughs> you know, like, wait, what? What? Like darky and cloudy? Like ink blot test nails? Yeah, I need more examples so I can glean what, what you mean. Ooh. 
Ribbons and bows. We got Coquette Manny again. Baby Blues sighted again. Oh, that's cute. That's the fishtail Manny. Please let that come back. I like that. They didn't they didn't even mention the fishtail or the braid Manny. Oh. But like an example of a, a kind of fun design, you know, let's give some credit to cool designs. Mixed metals. Silver chrome is the metal of choice this season and gold is officially in the number two spot. Is it number two or more like number five? That being said, we're also seeing a lot of mixed metal looks that make it easier to wear this trend with jewelry. Okay, so we did see this in another article where you just kind of like paint on a little bit of chrome. Seven, icy layers. It's time to break the ice or cover it with glitter. Finally, someone mentions glitter, thank God. Layering a solid nail color with a metallic or glitter shade, such as this combo, creates the perfect winter manny look. Yeah, I like that. It's very like winter shimmers, I guess, you know? You put a little iridescent shimmer on whatever color you want. Maybe it's slightly more neutral. Maybe it's a light pinky color um, or baby blue if you're into the blue. Anything that's a combo, we will, we're on board with because then that means there's more options available. Shimmering brown, that's magnetic polish. Do they, does the article know? Is this not the coziest color? Brown is just neutral enough while retaining a little bit of flair. I see people leaning towards browns with a little bit of shimmer and dimension, such as OPI's hot, toddy, naughty. But that's not OPI's, right? Is that a magnetic shade? No, it's not. I just wanna make sure I'm not wrong. R.I.P. to fairy tale. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> R.I.P. fairy tale. Sorry, you know, you could have trended. But, um, oh, there's still some of you left. You could have been so big this year. If only we'd released you this year, then, you know, your shimmering brownness would have been, uh, would have been loved. Unfortunately, uh, you are retiring. Woulda, coulda, shoulda, yeah. Just finished painting my nails 50 shades of grayish and found my cat snoozing in her old taco bed. It's the best now addition to our living room. All cats love it. It's statistically accurate. Okay. This, this kind of coincides with like the chocolate milk, you know, that we've seen a few articles cite, but this one's shimmery brown, which I prefer. I just think that the author didn't realize that's a magnetic polish which might be a different trend you're trying to think about because just brown shimmery nail polish isn't gonna do this. Nine, not so subtle embellishments. I thought we wanted subtle embellishments. Now we want in your face. Got it, okay. Uh, 10, glittery French. I like, I can get on board with this. French manicures will be forever and always, but the glitter design is a fun rendition of this classic Manny as it brings festivity of the holidays during this time of year in an understated yet classy way. So just put glitter on your tips. Done. All right, this article is from Business Insider. It, what business does Business Insider have in nail polish? Does Business Insider write articles on nail polish? I, I don't know. <laughs> like, wait, what? Okay. I picked this article in my uh, to include in my analysis because I really like their Troom Troom-esque thumbnails. The entire article is just like, uh, here, or some of it. They have like yes and no's. They have like X's and check marks. And I was like, oh, that's how I would like to learn actually. You know, I have the child Troom Troom brain. <laughs> so let's see how they, they show us the trends, okay. Chocolate milk nails, check mark. Animal print, almond stiletto nails, no. Let's see. Business Insider asked three nail professionals about trends that are in and out for 2024. Brown nails, simple rhinestone designs, and metallic finishes seem to be rising in popularity. On the other hand, jelly nails and long acrylic manis are being replaced by minimalist trends. 
Here's what the professionals said. Chrome and metallic finishes are going strong. Okay, they're going strong, you hear that? Our clients are going for more bold and futuristic looks, taking the iridescent nail trend to the next level. Are we, are iridescent or chrome? Simple rhinestone designs are winning people over. Is this a simple rhinestone design? Nail designs will be taking a more simplistic turn next year. According to manicurist and content creator Hannah, Hannah rocks it. <laughs> I think that dainty looks like adding a single rhinestone to each nail. They literally didn't listen to her, okay? Hannah, we love you. We shout out to Hannah, amazing nailers. Hannah rocks it on Instagram and YouTube. They're, they're literally interviewing someone who knows that they're talking about and they did not listen to her. Like this is not what she meant. <laughs> That's not what she said. <laughs> Listen to your interviewee. Is that a single rhinestone and a dainty look? I don't think so, you know. Floating French manicures are a trendy update to the classic design. Okay, again, the floating French, which is just a stripe, kind of under your like nail line. The visible nail line is kind of what it, it seems to be angling for. Instead of the white line, which is the French manicure, being at the tip of the nail, the new style places it more towards the center. Okay. Chocolate nails aren't going away. We have already seen chocolate nails be one of the biggest trends this fall, but I don't think it will be going away anytime soon. People can add brown polish to their manicure rotation for a more subtle and neutral look. Okay, We've got some more chocolate milk. Sage green nails are trending. It's good that articles are starting to say colors because one thing I found in my analysis was that like not many were pointing out what colors we should be wearing. Like occasionally when they're like, well, peach is the Pantone of the year or whatever, or girls are cold this year, so wear blue. But our, it was hard to tease out like what colors they really think when they're just saying like bows or animals, you know? Sage green is a nail polish color to work, to look out for in 2024. Okay, interesting, interesting. A lighter sage gray, green is a great way to add color without it being too bold. Hmm, yeah, very muted. Ballet core's, ballet core nails combine pink hues and fun details. The ballet core trend, which is known to be light, romantic, and airy, will continue to be popular with nails and fashion trends. Okay. More pinky girly bosies. On the other hand, <laughs> what is this graphic? On the other hand, accent nails are taking a back seat to uniform sets. What? They just said no to accent nails? <gasps> Accent nails were trending a couple of seasons ago, but both Tran and Lee said they're not in anymore. Single accent nails aren't as popular since most people prefer a more uniform look across the nail. Hannah, how could you? <laughs> Hannah, what? <laughs> no, <laughs> not Hannah Roxit saying no more accent nails. I'm revolting. We're gonna start drama. Okay, you heard it here. I'm starting drama with Hannah Roxit nails. <laughs> How dare you insult the accent nail. Long nails are giving way too short square shapes. Wait, what? Say that again. Long nails are giving way too. Oh, giving way too short. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, giving way too. Got it. Okay. You understand the confusion. To short square shapes. Bad. X, put a big X on this. Got it. The favored nail shape has shifted from rounded almond to short and square. 
blinged out nails are being replaced by minimalist designs. No glitter. We're in for a dark year, fam. Over the top bling is out, but the need for sparkle is never truly gone. Oh, that's so poetic. In lieu of excessive rhinestones and embellishments, delicate accents are in with subtle gems or metallic accents, adding a touch of elegance. Put away the deep red polish for now. Bad. Red is bad. Bright red is going to replace the deeper hues in 2024. Dark red polish dominated the fall and winter, but Lee said it's time to move on. Hannah, did you actually say all this? Are they just like, they're not, I don't see a real quote there. <laughs> what? She told B.I. that classic and brighter reds are set to be a bigger hit. So maybe she said that, but did she say that it's time to move on? Like, I'm actually curious how much they like maybe didn't quote her accurately. I do not believe this. <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> okay, so bad red. Red is bad. Dark red is bad. As evidenced by the big X, okay? Sets with a bunch of different designs are fading in popularity. No skittle many, no bold designs, no animal. Oh, no, oh, no animal print. Jelly nails are dying out. So, you know, we're we just sold out of life in plastic. I believe it. it they're done. <laughs> Although the jelly nail trend, with fo which focuses on sheer glossy colors, was was big earlier this year, Lipman expects it to die down. All right. We gotta have a funeral for jelly nails, guys. No fun. Th I think this is like a, this article is a hater with the, the number eight. Geometric nails are being replaced with swirly designs. But floating French manis are geometric. Bad. What, like, this is so specific. Like who was doing exactly this nail look? Bad, do not do this. The exact like three people in the world who did this look are very sad right now. That's it. That's a weird picture of your ear. Okay, we're almost done. This one's from Women's Health. The biggest and boldest nail trends of 2024, red nails are making a comeback. That is pink and coral. 2023 nail trends included something for everyone from chrome finishes to food associated shades like blueberry milk and cherry cola. And if trend forecasters are accurate, next year is shaping up to be equally inspired. Let's see. Let's ask the Fib Finder. Stars. Oh, some one other article said stores. Stores? Stars? Hello? What is Ben saying? Although nail artists are busy painting their nails, Hannah said the next big trend for nail artists is having babies. <laughs> I'm not even gonna... Ben! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me cry, my eye rash is sting. Okay, stars, peach fuzz, check, espresso brown, a little bit darker, like a brownie brown, I like that. Cat eye with chrome, that's not magnetic. Is that magnetic? Maybe, but it's not the cat eye, it's the velvet effect. Oh, she wrote cat eye nails. That's, that's the source of the confusion. Earthy, excuse me, drank too fast. Earthy green. Okay, Modest Moss. Hello. Best seller of 2023. 
3D gel. <laughs> wow. Okay, that that's a lot. <laughs> Holy shit. That's like three times longer than my nails. <laughs> Natural nails. Mix and match designs. Okay, Skittle Manny's. Candy red. This article says yes, red. Hot and pink. Hot pink and peach. Floating linear nail art. What is that? Oh, God. Floating, like a French tip, I guess. It's the floating French tip. Okay. And the last article is from Re Refinery29. Soft nails and gold accented manicures will take off in 2024. Gold, RIP Trophy Life. <laughs> Here's the thing about nails and why we love talking about them. They're personal. We each have unique preferences when it comes to our favorite nail color, yes, of the moment or how we like our nails shaped. Then there's the biggest question, gel or regular polish? Is that the biggest question? I think most people in here never ask that question. <laughs> this year we're interested in the trends, both in niche designs we'll see and more general improvements in nail health. Let's see, uh-oh, there we go. A boom in nail care. <gasps> wow, what? What is that? what pen is that? <laughs> oh my god! Damn! Is that the hollow talk of nail oil pen? Holy shit. Oh my god, that looks so cool. Amazing! Hot new trend! <laughs> wow! Okay, let's read what they say. I know her, right? Hey, I made that! Nail experts and experts, sorry, nail experts and artists alike are in agreement that nail health will be a priority in 2024. This doesn't necessarily mean bare nails, but a focus on products that help strengthen the nails so they feel healthy, not thin or sensitive. Not sure where to start? A nail repair serum is great. I don't even know what that is. We'd recommend a gentle non-acetone polish remover. <laughs> Me uses 100% acetone. <laughs> then every nail pro w worth their salt. Wait, what? Every nail pro worth their salt extols. Extols the, b what word is, I'm, dictionary please. Extols the benefits of cutie. I've like never heard this word used in a sentence. Like what? Okay, yada yada yada. The benefits of cuticle oil. Something like this nail oil pen by Hollow Taco will ward off dryness, hang nails, and keep the nail and nail bed hydrated. A small investment in your at-home nail health routine will likely save you a lot of future spending at the salon. A factor to consider in 2024 budgeting. Okay, thank you, Refinery, for including the Hollow Taco <laughs> nail oil pen. <laughs> we we love that. Gold chrome accents. Ugh, I don't want it to open, but Okay. Gold chrome. RIP trophy life. Soft nails. What is a soft nail? Like pastel? Soft will be a word used to describe a nail aesthetic for 2024. Of course, we're not using soft as a synonym for brittle and fragile nails, but in terms of easy and gentle colors that will bring calm to the wearer. 2023 was a wild and eclectic year for nails, was it? No, it wasn't. Last year's trend report was all like, glazed donut, TikTok nail theory that is red wear red for men attract a mate <laughs> and also sheer with a tiny bit of iridescence that's it like what what are you saying <laughs> but that's wild a little bit of chrome that's not wild hey did you guys know that the refills are in rewards well they are they are we just added the you're welcome 
for now, just just for now, we'll see how many of them, too many people might redeem them. But for now, the nail oil cartridges are in the Holotaku rewards. 2024 will feature a shift away from extremism and become more spiritual. What? We are moving away from extreme nail trends and we will become one with our nail spirits. <laughs> I don't even know what they mean. What does that mean? What? Sounds a little woo woo wee wee to me. You can take this concept in different directions. A soft nail shape might involve a rounded tip, but that's not what's in. You can still have extended or elongated nails, but instead of a sharp square, this might read as a softened stiletto. If you're looking for a soft energy color, you might consider blue, like a stone blue, which healers use to elicit a feeling of calm. Soft pink polish may be used to channel self-love. Is that what that means? While light green will help connect you to your vulnerable side. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. It's the nail spirit colors. Texture play. Oh, that's cool. Oh my god, I like this. That's literally looks like Menchie Cat Eye. It's probably not, but <laughs> it's very similar. That's probably gel. Aura 2.0. What's the 2.0? This new take for 2024 is more subtle. You want the aura to be white in tone. Almost like a faint strobe light. Light. Huh. So like use a pastel color is what they're saying. Interesting. 2.0. Sheer nudes. There we go again. Hannah again. I feel like people love going back to basics and starting fresh. Offers nail artist Hannah Lee. There's no better way than wearing a sheer or nude shade. Hannah, t be honest. <laughs> Hannah, no, where is, we need people on our side. Come on, girl. You you got to tell them about hollow and glitter and chaos. <laughs> Don't tell the trend articles what they want to hear. All right. Me and Hannah are in a fight now. Okay, I'm gonna uh, open up my presentation again. Oops, where is it? Nope, oh, there it is. Okay. We're gonna do the conclusion. Now that we've synthesized this information, we've read through 11 different articles, we've looked at pictures, we've done an analysis of the analyses, now we're gonna put it all together and draw some conclusions. First, let's talk about color. I went through all those articles and tried to identify what colors they said would be on trend. And so what we have here is, a, is like a matrix. At the top, it's the source, and on the left, it's the cited colors. Sometimes the colors, the tone of the color is different within the article, so you're gonna have a soft pink or a hot pink cited, right? But this is, if you just step back, this is what the research is saying is gonna be trending for colors for nails in 2024. We're seeing some soft peach, which is a Pantone color of the year. Duh, that, that was easy for you to conclude, okay? I saw a lot of baby blue, but also stone blue, cold girl blue, someone said electric blue, and then one person said deep blue. I'm seeing red again. Red, but then classic red or candy red, and then one article said no red, no red, X to the red. And brown, chocolate brown and espresso brown, one person saying shimmering brown, okay? But we've, we've, we've got brown, and then a few people said sage green, but there wasn't as much agreement because someone then said like an earthier green and then there was a light green. We've got a couple people saying soft pinks, but also even if they didn't say specifically soft pink, they were endorsing the coquette mani aesthetic, which is associated 
for the most part with a soft pink so you can kind of inject a few more with your brain if you want there but yeah this is the color palette that came out of this output analysis I don't know if I like this color palette like it it doesn't really it to me it's not cohesive I wouldn't use all the trending colors together you know like maybe you can pick out two here that look good together like I love a pink and a blue or maybe um, peach and brown can work red maybe by its by itself like where's the purple you know <laughs> where where is the purple <laughs> It looks like nature, then it'll probably be on the worst sellers list. It's not that nobody said purple, it's just that they might have said things like soft pastel colors and included a picture of a purple, but I was doing this as a word-based analysis for things, for, for colors they were affirmatively saying, like peach nails is in, or baby blue. They had to actually cite the color rather than just like choose a photo that maybe they were pulling just for the nail art purposes so i couldn't make that accurate distinction i was trying to stay true to my research methodology this is a great example of doing academic research and analysis <laughs> is, is this a great example <laughs> everyone after this class is gonna like do nail trend analysis for their sociology class there you go you know, we call this a discourse analysis or a content analysis where, uh, you know, you just like read a bunch of shit, you do a literature review, and then you try and uh, synthesize what is the discourse saying. And in this case, I've, I'm able to turn it into a picture for you because we're talking about colors. <laughs> a Skittle challenge would be fun. Well, we are gonna paint our nails. So I think that's what I have to do. I think because a couple articles said that mixed match nails, basically Skittle nails were in, we're gonna do a Skittle Manny with these colors. How about that? But th wait, there's more. If this was the color meta-analysis summary, what about the actual nail art styles or trends? This may be a little hard to digest. So let me explain it for you, okay? This is a matrix. On, on the top, we've got the source. On the left-hand axis, we've got the type of trend. So I'll read it out just in case it's hard to read, but I've got the type of nail shape, French tip, chrome metallic, iridescent, sheer, gradient, embellishments, bows slash coquette, texture, animal print, patterned magnetic, time-coded, or skittle mani. So what I did was I came up with categories based on my content analysis that was trending amongst the trend articles, and I slotted in whether or not that source agreed with it or what it was that source said was the trend for that category. The darker purple you see, the more endorsement, the more agreement. Yeah, I'm, I'm just injecting purple into the color palette. That's why this is purple. But it's basically a heat map. So this, the lines that are darker means more sources endorse the same thing. If the lines are like lighter purple, that means a couple sources endorsed it, but we're not having more universal agreement. So if you're trying to look at what is everyone agreeing on, just look for the darker purple. And that is chrome and metallic. 91% of sources I analyzed agreed that chrome accents or metallic, like I'm deciding they all mean the same thing, are trending. So they are generally in alignment. They are generally on the same page that chrome slash metallic is trending. So I would agree that the trend articles agree <laughs> that Chrome and metallic nails are trending, you know? This is another way of calling them out because they're not agreeing on the trends. So who the fuck is right? Just chrome nails, apparently. Let's see what else. Nail shape, they didn't agree on, okay? Incongruent results. There was disconcordant. 
Some said short square, some said squoval, some said almond and short square in the same article. Someone said rounded tips, soft nails. Okay, 27% agreement. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No one knows. I think we just need to conclude that you can do whatever nail shape you want. There is no such thing as a nail shape trend. Research has shown <laughs> that there is no nail trend or shape. Got it. Okay, French tips. Although we did see quite a few floating French tips, there was exactly four that cited it that way. Other articles said like classic French or a glitter French or skinny French. And so to me, that's not the same thing, even though they're both using the word French. So I decided to code that a bit differently and I just coded the floating French as being in agreement. And yes, there's multiple ways to do this. Okay, let's not nitpick my analysis, but for simplicity, I wanted to give you one column, one agreement column <laughs> instead of multiple. <laughs> yeah, the data proves there is no 2024 nail trend. This is scientific research we're doing here, okay? Who else is doing a meta-analysis? <laughs> I could have done like way more articles, but I feel like, you know, results would be the same. I was reaching a saturation point in my research. Iridescent, we did have a few people mean iridescent even though they said other things like oyster or chrome, but th one of them meant iridescent or icy layers. Okay, so I'm, I'm glad I'm seeing some iridescence. Sheer manis were absolutely cited by at least half of the articles. Whether they called it lip gloss nails or natural looking, they meant the same thing. Uh, basically naked nails that are glossy. Gradient nails are in, but only if they are radial gradient aura nails, allegedly. Embellishments had a couple sources citing simple rhinestones. One of them was a little bit confused and some others said pearls, but uh, simple rhinestones do seem to be, you know, 36% uh, agreement between the 11 sources that I analyzed. Bows and coquettes. Coquette Manny, over half of the articles I looked at said something to that effect. People are still into ballet core. And what was the de definition of coquette? Something a little about uh, impressing and flirting with a man. Hmm. Texture was 73% agreement rate, but it might be easier to get an agreement rate for something that sounds a little vague like that because a lot of them were quite vague in their own descriptions. They're like 3D, jelly, nail art, just mixed textures, you know, just to throw some shit together and have it feel like something. <laughs> Animal print, two articles said 18% agreement. I don't think that they know what they're doing there. That they haven't decided. Okay, they, they didn't make up their mind, but they wrote an article anyways. Patterns, there was different patterns. No universal pattern came out. Okay, you had like porcelain patterns, swirl patterns. Couple people said stars. You had a 70s retro wave, dark abstract. Still don't know what that means. So patterns maybe are in if you know how to do them is basically that conclusion. Magnetic nails, a few articles did say magnetic even if they didn't know how to, uh, the proper language. <laughs> but magnetic nails are still cool and interesting to people. And I agree, I think it's impressive and it's like fun to learn how to do for someone who doesn't normally go to the salon and it can be done with regular nail polish and a little bit of patience. So that's a cool kind of salon looking technique that you can get at home. Time coded. I put in there for the odd trend that was trying to call out a specific time, right? And no one was really agreeing that something, a specific time period was in style. Like one article said Y2K specifically, but no one else did. Skittle Manny, we've got mismatched or mix and match or, you know, just uh, doing different designs and 27% uh, agreement right there. So in conclusion, In conclusion, there is no trend. <laughs> Maybe just Chrome, that's it. Which is kind of disappointing because that's what was last year's results, you know? Like, give me something new.
The conclusion is the 2024 trend is doing whatever you want to your own nails, right? <laughs> But do you follow trends? That's what I want to know. So I asked you, does the Simply Nailogical community self-report following nail trends? And you need to analyze these results in context with a little bit of social desirability because most people are probably more inclined to say they don't follow trends because that's just like the cool thing to say. You know what I mean? So you do have to acknowledge that just a little bit, okay? little social desirability scale. I should have put that in there for you, but uh, you know, I didn't have the resources or time to do so. I asked you guys on my Discord and on my official Facebook group. Uh, I think our sample size was about 2,000 on Facebook and I think double that or like 3,000 on Discord. So thank you for participating in my research. Uh, I, I, I think our sample sizes were probably much larger than than the, the articles we just read with their citations. So most of you, Facebook and Discord, said, no, I do not pay attention to nail trend reports and generally do my nails according to whatever I'm into at the time. 75% on Facebook, 66% on Discord. That's what I would say too. That would be my answer if I'm asked this question. Is like, I don't, I mean, I am paying attention now for the purposes of this analysis stream, but I paint my nails according to whatever I'm into at the time, which generally doesn't coincide with what are reported trends. The next stack of people at 22 and 25% respectively said somewhat follow trends, but they're generally not interested in recreating them but am interested in knowing what they are out of curiosity. And I wanted to make sure I covered that group of people who don't actively like do stuff, but they want to know what they are. They like learning about them and they, they find it interesting, you know? So, but they don't necessarily do them because there's a difference between like observing the trends and then actually following it. So I was trying to get at that. And I think these people are honest, you know what I mean? Because you could be a little bit of in both categories. I understand, you know, these aren't perfectly mutually exclusive, blah, blah, blah. But not everyone's doing the trends. Two and 5% respectively said, yes, I generally follow reported nail trends, but I don't always recreate them due to time, skill level slash life. So when they are doing their nails, they are following, like they look to a trend to see what's in and then they, they do that. And like basically no one said the simple answer of yes, I generally follow and recreate reported nail trends. My community's like, no, I am not a follower. Listen, <laughs> I do what I want on my terms. And then I had a not applicable category here. NA, no, I do not pay attention to nail trend reports because I don't paint my nails or I'm not interested in nail polish. All right, shall we paint our nails? Was there any analysis that I missed, class? Do let me know. I'm gonna go back to this one for some inspiration. And now I'm gonna grab some 2024 trending colors. I think I have to do like all cremes, right? Just to, to make it make sense.
<laughs> give us trophy life too. I'll just do like a small thing of trophy life on top. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Okay, I'm gonna make my nails look like this weird ass palette. Okay, we'll do something like this. How about this? <laughs> it's so ugly, but I kind of like it. Okay, we'll do this and I could do like a chrome detail on top. Let me just, I gotta put a base coat on. little dusties on my nails. I didn't fully prep my nails. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we're painting now. Oops, I locked in a, hold on, let me redo that. Hee <laughs> hee. I had a little fluffy on my nail. Magic. Don't mind me. Um, what am I doing? I should narrate. I'm using smoothing base. I probably should just use peely base because I'm gonna peel off this trend immediately, uh, but whatever. Sacrificial lacquer though. It kind of, actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, that is, that does kind of fit in the trends report, right? Remember when they were like ultra glossy nails and the picture was just red magnetic? Maybe I should just use sacrificial lacquer as like the one accent because magnetic does seem to be a category. There it is. We could use some sacrificial lacquer for the velvet trend, but I prefer the cat eye look personally because with regular nail polish, because of like drying time, it, you're never gonna get the same type of dome. Honestly, just any regular polish. It's a, it's a difference between a gel product. So I prefer doing the traditional stripe because you can see it a little bit better. But Hannah said accent nails are dead. Well, Hannah's dead to me now. <laughs> Hannah, I'm gonna make diss track nails. Fairy tale for the brown, no RIP. What's on your other hand? What's on my other hand? It's cold girl nails. Don't mind my little boo-boo. Don't mind my little boo-boo. It's cold girl nails. I'm wearing cold slate and crystal skies. And then on my thumb, I did a little glitter gradient, which I think is a really fun idea. If you're kind of bored, just slap on some cold slate and then crystal skies kind of on the tip. I just used the brush. I didn't use any tools. I just faded it down. Okay, looking at this again, 
I'm gonna give you my lineup of colors. Like this? Something like this? How about that? Okay. We'll do some peach. Pantone color of the year, peach. I'm gonna use electric blue as an accent because I kind of like the standout effect. We'll use the magnetic, ultra glossy, ultra glossy red magnetic as the classic red. And then we have these like kind of like chocolate browning creme. What do you think? Should we use this? Should we release this? Do you want this? Is it, is it trending? And then cold girl blue, which is cold slate. I'm preferring the cold girl rather than the baby blue, you know? It's my own spin on it. There. Mmm, delicious. Sound good? Okay, NDAs are being signed, of course. Of course they are, I, I trust you guys. No one is screenshotting anything. Uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh! Oh-uh! Ho-ho-ho! Wee-wee! Okay, I gotta figure out which nail gets what treatment. Maybe I'll put the red magnetic in the middle on my middle finger. Yeah, let's do that. So, let me just organize. How about this goes here? Cold girl goes there. No. Yeah, here. There. That's gonna be so ugly. I love it. <laughs> I'm the worst. Okay, let me just focus this so it stops moving. There. Alright, I'm gonna start off with a chocolate br brownie. Chocolate brownie brown creme. How about that? Oh. I heard chocolate nails were trending. Which is always good news when you hear that, you know? And you're you you're already on trend. It's like finding out that your favorite celebrity like uses the moisturizing cream that you already use. It's like that feeling. You're just like, yeah, me too. Been, I'm, I know. <laughs> now I'm gonna use cold girl blue trend, which I'm interpreting as cold slate, which is a really nice like dead inside color. Mm. Yes. Now we're gonna do our classic red that one article said no. One, ar <laughs> one article said no red. Well, too bad. This is magnetic, so make sure you shake up magnetic. Um, but yeah, this is Sacrificial Lacquer, which is from the Declassified Tacos collection, which just came out in December. We did restock sacrificial lacquer it was out because it sold out so quickly um i guess i guess red white was trending <laughs> well red magnetic anyways um <clears throat> but it is back but it it will not stay back because it is a seasonal uh color In case you're like, wait, what, Christine? What is happening? This is a magnetic wand. I'm just not moving my nail now because I want it to sit. And the magnetic polish will create that line in line with the magnetic wand. I always put my nail on top of it. That's kind of a hack so that you're not shaking. Um, whereas the traditional way to use a magnet is like to hover the magnet on top, which you can still do, but I just prefer this way because then I just, you know, my nails sitting down, it's easier. Mm. 
Not cat eye though, or right? Yeah, I don't. Eh, I don't care. <laughs> Mine doesn't work with the magnet under me. If you have a really thick finger, it it might be harder because the magnet needs to like be able to pull. It has to be close enough to your nail. But if your finger is very thick, then it's possible that it's just too far. So you you might need to hover it on top. So I'll just move that over as I paint on Rest in Peach, Pantone color of the year. And with the magnet, you just wanna let it dry for like a minute. I mean, I'm gonna do a second coat, so that's fine for now. And then on my thumb, I'm gonna use Royalty Blue, which, you know, thank God Royalty, Hollow Royalty voted it back because it's, it's trending again, according to like one source. <laughs> Bold Blue, Electric Blue. can't paint in the air. Don't drink acetone. Now let's do our second coats. Second coat. Going back in with our uh, brownie, chocolate brownie. Would you like a chocolate brownie? It's still baking, it's not ready to come out of the oven yet. delicious it is so rich it's a delicacy I hear especially in the hollow taco creme formula is it a fun brownie well it it could have fun if you if you put things on top of it that make it fun that would be fun wouldn't that be fun to put things on top of a brownie to make it fun yeah. oh. Classic red. So you asked, where is the purple? There is an article by InStyle called 20 Fabulous Nail Colors for February and Antihero is number 10. <laughs> yes. Thank you, running on empty. Yes, but unfortunately that wasn't a Nail Trends 2024 article. So, you know, it would be biased of me as a researcher to include the wrong type of source in my analysis just for that point. But yes, Antihero was cited in another article about February. Praise be. 
just thinking more generally on the trends. Like, what do you guys think is missing? You know, overall they're like minimalist and like, okay, maybe there's like a bow somewhere. A little bit of chrome, which we've seen before. I don't know. To me, it's just all a little lackluster and it has me wondering like, where, where is the excitement? Where is the, not just shiny, but like conceptual excitement, you know? Where's the, the space adventures? Where's like nail polish from outer space? I want nail polish that looks like it's from Mars. <laughs> Where's the like rainbow, rainbow candy crushed nails, you know? Like give me some palettes and some themes that are more exciting, that give me a taste of things, that, that get me excited to put all of them on my nails at once, you know? Inspire me with something other than a bow. I don't, I don't know, but like I'm, I don't know about you, but I'm not inspired by a bow. <laughs> or a floating French tip, you know, RIP. They literally put an X on all the fun manicures. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, we'd, we'd rather like go to space, you know. I need a shock to my system. Life is boring. Do something fun with your nails. Why do we want to match our boring lives with boring nails? Like that's kind of the energy <laughs> that the articles were giving me. It's like, be quiet and rich. Quiet luxury, mute yourself down just like your life, okay? Be boring. Beige talk is in. Kim Kardashian's aesthetic, basically. <laughs> I'm like, well, no, but like, I, I don't want that to be my life, you know? Life is short. Have some fun before you die. Don't be basic. Did I? I did do a second coat of this. I like, can't remember. <laughs> I'm just like, wait, what did I think? People, <laughs> quiet, quit your nails, <laughs> chatter. <laughs> That's, that is like the aesthetic. It's like quiet quitting nails. <gasps> it just occurred to me. You are so correct. The 2024 aesthetic is quiet quitting nails. Like we're just giving up. We're going back to minimalism and designs that like aren't really there. Cause we want to look rich, but be quiet. Quiet luxury. I don't know. Neutrals with toppers are fantastic though. That I can get behind because toppers give you options. They give you something to like look forward to in a way because you can change it up and do what you want and explore different things. So to me, like if you're like buying a, um, here. If you have like an iridescent topper, this is Twilight Shimmer, it's like kind of the purpley one. You could put this on a naked nail if you want a more subdued kind of look, but it's also actually interesting to look at because it'll shift colors depending on the angle of the light. But you can use that exact same product and put it over royal blue if you want something like, wow, that's so cool. Or let's say you have like a tealy green dress that shimmers that you want to match. Just throw this over a tealy green creme and there you go. I like the customizability of things like iridescence or glitter when articles cite them because it gives me hope that someone will try that iridescent shimmer and then realize they can do 8 million different things with it. It's not just one look. Cause like you'll get bored of the same look if you do it all the time, you know what I mean? Change it up. And then also, you know, in this economy, to quote the 
people who always use that line. Uh, in this economy, uh, find ways to use nail polishes more than once, you know? Wear it in different ways to get the best bang out of your buck. And you know, also it's exciting. Exciting things are happening when you <laughs> make a holo taco combo. <laughs> Okay, that was that just that was sitting there right for me. These trends have been fun. What is the trend slash number for boxes being? Re being released from from Lalo Taco. <laughs> well, um, how about we do a box next? How about that? Okay. And I'm determining box worthiness by almost like collection theme too, cause some boxes or some collections really lend themselves to cool ass boxes. You know what I mean? Royalty blue. Thank you, Megan. Just wanted to say thank you for all that you do. You're welcome. I have a brother who's in the hospital for three weeks now and will be for a while and you have helped me through this life altering time. That's. So kind of you to say, um, thank you. I hope your brother gets better and um, your family is on the up. Thank you. As I sit here sounding sick, I apologize. One second, I gotta blow my nose with one hand, ha. Huh? Okay, I'm gonna grab some chrome. <laughs> R.I.P. Trophy Life. on everything yeah that's fine two coats of each let me just close these so one thing that was trending was a little bit of like chrome detail some articles said that uh, full chrome is still in but you know we skipped that because we did that last year but let's do some chrome details like a little bit of line work so this is world's first, uh, yes, world's first silver chrome polish. And this is Trophy Life, which is retiring. How long will it stick around? Will it be the next chameleon coat? Stay tuned and find out. <laughs> Can't wait to see the box for the dessert collection that'll include a caramel brown and a buttercream brown. Oh, you are so wrong. I would refund you if I could. That was just a bad guess. <laughs> okay. Mm, let's do this one on the brown. I'm just throwing it on a yogurt lid. I could put it on my no mess mat, but then I have to move it and the camera's in the same place. So we're just going like this. So I'm taking my striping brush from my nail art brush set. And I'm just gonna go like this quickly in the chrome before it dries. Chrome dries very quickly. That's why people like doing their manis with it. I've definitely learned. And I'm just gonna freehand, I know, who is she? Hold on, let's focus, focus a little. I'm gonna, that's my hair. Ah, no, oh, hair in my nails. I'm gonna freehand some, some lines. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Help, I gotta figure it out quick.
that's my DNA. Okay, I'll leave it there. Just a little bit. I don't know what it is. <laughs> my DNA is actually chrome nail polish. Actually, no, that's all. That's a lie. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this off. Actually, I should have just kept the same. I'm a dummy. Whatever. We'll, we'll go back to it. Let's do that again with silver. This is world's first chrome. I'm trying to pick somewhat complimentary because I want to do the silver line work on cold slates just because I like that color pairing a little bit better. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> there. Sure. Okay. I'll keep silver on the brush and I will do trophy life on the red, but I'll keep silver on this one. So I'll, I'll keep doing silver. It's my DNA. I don't know why I'm going for this like DNA, DNA vibes. There, that's kind of more different than DNA. Actually, I kind of, what if I try and do that on this one? she chromes are probably the easiest to do what I'm doing with honestly because they're so opaque they give you such good coverage and like one swipe not all nail polish is like that but the chromes are like one coat chromes so it kind of makes it easier to do line work like that with. If that's something you're interested in. Just gonna throw some, it does dry quickly. So I just have to add new stuff. Cause like that's kind of dry now. Let's get some trophy life. And now I'm gonna paint on my sacrificial lacquer. Painting over magnetic. I'm gonna paint the opposite direction of the stripe. No. Oh. We're gonna 
fix it by faking another line. Sure, there. I meant to do that. Remember the person who said swirls was easy? Yeah. Okay, this kind of looks like a Christmas bow. <laughs> oh my God, I accidentally did a bow. <laughs> Ew! Ew, that's so coquette. Fuck. Fuck. How do I make it more badass? Help, help! Oh no, what have we done? I don't think we can go back. It just looks like a bow. Oh my god, the trends are coming to get me. <laughs> it's cause that's too thick. That ended up too thick, yeah. that save it or just look more like a bow <laughs> okay stop stop we just need to stop <laughs> quick undo the laces undo the laces <laughs> all right let's do the last one let's uh why don't we do both on this one yeah let's do that guys i've been played the bows are after me Okay, painting on my thumb in the air is hard. I, I don't like it. I normally go like this, but then you won't be able to see if I put it on the edge of the desk. So just, it will be shakier. It's a munchy hair. Now I wanna get silver. I'm gonna do a two-tone, two-tone Manny. Why does it look like a bow? <laughs> when you go in with no plan, you know? Every life is like a box of chocolates. What if I just like did these like random little things like this? I don't know. You know, like a little movement. Looks a little more spider veiny. What about that? That looks like a a moving bow, like I'm un I'm actively untying my shoelaces. <laughs> Trending. Looks like Spider Man. Sick. You know what? Kind of got the red and blue. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh oh. Red and blue. Don't put your finger in the yogurt lid. Okay. This is. It's time to stop.
Glassy taco time. Add a nice thick ultra glossy coat. We're just adding a coat of lip gloss to our nails, actually. Yep. Mm -hmm. I use this shade every day to make my lips look natural and glossy. I want to make it look like I've been drinking water. So much water that I'm just spitting it up, you know. Is that tea? Thanks, Ben. Why are you still careful, streaming? Careful, careful. I'm almost done. I, do you like my bows? The Spider-Man Christmas nails? It kind of trend? does look like Spider-Man. Spider-Man's trending. What do you think? Not a big fan of Tom Holland. Okay. <laughs> I haven't seen Spider-Man, actually. <laughs> Just the Tobey Maguire one. Thanks for the tea, Ben. Tea is always trending. That's good. It's very strong tea, Byron. Thank you. Ben is asking me if I'm still streaming because he knows we have work to do. We have to swatch. Okay. We've already done two of Ben's swatches. I'm done mine. Happy to report. Signed, sealed, delivered. The team is happy. Actually, I'm not. I didn't get them the Skittle Mini yet. Still gotta process that. But, uh, We've done two of Ben's swatches on his, you know, short king trending nails. Still? Yeah, I know. Well, I like to finish, I gotta finish all my stuff, if that's the priority, but then after I'm done my full hand swatches, if I can get Ben to cooperate, <laughs> if Ben has time to sit in the studio with me and do some swatches, I will take that opportunity. Um, but it's it's been tough. Uh, we were able to do two like two days ago and then the set's still there hoping we can do more. So after this, you know, that's why he's asking. He, he just wants to swatch. Funny, I was just reading an article about a study that found a connection between drinking tea and longevity. I also saw that. People tagged me in it. Right? I'm going to live forever. Bitch, I drink so much tea, I'm going to live forever. You will never get rid of me. <laughs> Did I put a top coat on this nail? Does anyone remember? Fuck. I'm like, I don't know what, what I'm doing today. <laughs> wow. Uh... Did I? I think I did. It looks shiny. I didn't do my thumb yet. Yes, I did. I did, right? Because I did this and then I did this. Yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah, you guys gotta tell me what I did today. This literally looks like Spider-Man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Christine, what are you doing? <laughs> the cockhead influence. It got me. It influenced me. Business insider got me. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a nail trend can. We will do 
a meta-analysis. Study all the articles and see what comes out of it. Let's go! Nail trans aren't real. So, Space Box, Saturday 3rd. <sighs> Spaceman, oh, Spaceman. Will there be a box? It'll be in February, maybe. You gonna rescue me from your NDA? Please sign in the chat this time. I don't believe you. <laughs> Uh, it's in February. Yes, maybe. What? Okay, we gotta do our final pose. Ready? Like I said, okay? Hollow Taco doesn't... I mean, I guess uh, I'm lying. If I'm literally looking at nail trends in order to do the stream, but... For the purposes of Hollow Taco... I do not look at articles to help me decide what I should release. I prioritize what I think you want. <laughs> no. What I think is exciting, what I think is going to resonate with people. And in the beginning, there was a lot of like, let's get this vibrant rainbow out. Let's get these unicorn skins out. Let's get these like core classics, like a one coat black, you know, out. Yes, that was the, the beginning priority. But as we kind of move forward in Hollow Taco, for me, what I would like to introduce into, you know, what is trending as far as what we're selling is what fits into more palettes and has more interesting themes and color combo options or formula variety or something that's going to speak to different people in unique ways because you can't just always repeat the rainbow you know we did that three times I mean maybe there's one more rainbow we could we could, we could kind of do but uh you know I want a little bit of that excitement but if you notice in 2023 the palettes were a little bit different right like vacation was kind of like a unique take on vacation and then as you got later in there, you had Sophia bringing her like gothic, but also traditional, very Sophia-ish vibes. And then we had Down to Earth, which is a very specific warm tone, earthy palette. And then After Party, which was like a muted palette, right? Muted cold girl star, you know, kind of got a mauve in there. That was a different vibe for us. And that's what I want to keep doing in 2024 is I have different vibes for you, okay? I'm gonna take you to space first. We're gonna land on Mars. And that, that's, a pa that's a palette. <laughs> that is a very specific, unique palette. Considering next weekend is February. I didn't say next weekend, I just said February. And then maybe, you know, we'll, we'll flip back down to Earth and we'll do some baking or something, you know, ground it in, uh, you know, some, some brownie dough. And we're just gonna continue to make sure that every collection that comes out feels a bit different than the last. So you're not getting the same trend over and over, you know? So that if one thing isn't for you, which is absolutely okie dokie, you know? Let's say you hate uh, the colors of baking and you hate brown, that's fine, you know? We'll have something that's definitely not brown after that. As I wear a brown polish that hasn't released yet. <laughs> okay. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? This is my 2024 nail trend manicure interpretation. I looked through all the data. I did the meta analysis. Here's where the, here are the colors that sources are reporting are gonna be trending this year. I aggregated it together paired with the trends that they said we're gonna be in. Paired with the nail art style trends they said that we're gonna be in and came up with this. What do you this. think? What do you think? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> and came up with this, 
What do you think? It's not ugly, but it's not pretty. The peach and brown look so good. They kind of do look good together, right? It's beautiful. I am watching you swatching new order. Queen's Curse Aquafoil. <laughs> yeah. All the retirees. I like the red only. It's prugly. I really like the brown. It's pretty ugly. It's actually giving. The silver is beautiful. The pattern carries the look. It's not bad. It's too dark for my taste. Okay, but then you, you like this nail, right? This is your vibe. I love the weirdness. Red and blue. It's very American, actually, now that I think about it. Right? Is this, is this kind of the American palette? Red, white, and blue. I mean, <laughs> the white is just <laughs> the empty cells. Wait a second, conspiracy theory. Insert TikTok conspiracy theory audio. If you put all the colors together, it's the American flag, okay? Nail trend reporters are trying to get you to put the American flag on their nails, okay? <laughs> it's giving America. Oops. You like sacrificial lacquer? Yeah, I mean, she, she's a winner. We know that. Um, peach is not for everyone, you know, cause it can be close to skin tones. So I, I get it. It's peach is very unique to you. Cold slate, I love. I just like looking dead inside. You know, it's like my other hand. <laughs> oh my God. I, can, I will always wear a cold slate. I feel like that's that's me. Dark brown, brownie, mm, delicious, so good. Just don't eat it, okay? And royalty blue is nice and vibrant if you actually want a pop of color. Very Spider-Man vibes. But yeah, um, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this Nail Trend 2024. If you're watching on VOD, shout out to the VOD squad, make sure you type in, leave me a comment about your assessment. Because I also want to do a peer review here. I want to know your interpretation of reading the same articles. What are you gleaning from it? Do you think the articles miss something? And what's your general assessment, you know, of this research? We're doing peer review in the comments. Thank you for joining. Thank you for being part of my, my focus group. <laughs> Happy swatching. Thank you. We will. And apologies again if I know I've, I've sound like <clears throat> listening to me probably hasn't been the best ear user experience because I sound very, very stoofy. Um, I'll survive, you know, it's fine. Okay, Menchie Gang, I will see you tomorrow at 2 p.m. It's already populated on the community tab or membership tab. So that's our monthly extra bonus Menchie Gang stream. And, uh, you know, we, we could talk more. I'll, I'll probably still have this on my hand tomorrow. I might need to repaint it. Maybe I will take it off tomorrow and we could paint something else. <laughs> Thank you, Amateur Nail Art, for the five gifted memberships. Because of Amateur Nail Art, five of you can come tomorrow. Come hang out. Where's Menchi? She's not there. She's downstairs. I know. Rude. Big shout out to the mods and the Menchie gang and all the gifters. And I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of your weekend. And I will, th there's no emails this week. D don't check your inbox this week. Uh, your boss doesn't need you. <laughs> no one needs you this week. <laughs> and uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all later, bye.
Thank you. 